We live, baby. So we can be us now. You can be you now. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the fourth episode of your favorite new podcast, The Ain't Shit Show, the home of booze, views, and unfor- unfortunate opinions. <laughs> true. That true, is funny. True, true. Right unfortunate is right. <laughs> the home of booze, views, and unpopular opinions. I'm your host, Fresh, and today I'm here with two of my faves. I have four faves. But I know I'm your But fave. these are two of the four of my faves. I don't want no shit. Don't come to me with no shit. <laughs> we know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Here they go. Hint, hint, hint. On my right, I have fan favorite, apparently. All, all the guys is on it. Why? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Durham Zone, Kiara Sophia. Thank you so much for um, for being here for me. I, I appreciate it. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad um, and God. Moving on, we have from the DMVC Pleasant Zone T. What's up? What's good? How y'all doing out there? What's up, y'all? We here, we live, baby. Episode hey, I'm four. so excited. Cooling, we cooling. <laughs> like you said, or I don't know if you said this or not, but this is the first episode since people been listening. This is our For first sure, yeah. episode since the launch, man. It's we exciting. got so much love, man. Like appreciate it. We got so much love. I just want to thank everybody who listen, who download, who subscribe. Like our numbers was crazy. It was way more than what we expected. It's a blessing and we appreciate the love. So continue to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we are here and um we're everywhere now. We are we're on YouTube now. We're on SoundCloud. We'll be on Stitcher and we're on iTunes and um you know, wherever you listen to podcasts, my sister has an Android, and she told me about some other place. It's on Android. I don't know a lot about the Android life, but, you know. Is we, it? What is it? Because we What's Apple an Android? Android? No, what's the... <laughs> where can she find it on Android? Hey. Hey, I had an Android for a good long time. I did, too, a while ago. A but while then ago. I grew up. Oh, that is definitely shade. She said she had an Android that she grew up. You ain't have to repeat the shade to make it worse. I just wanted to know, man. What what y'all been doing? What, what y'all been up to? You know what I've been up to, shorty. You know I just been going to the gym, working out now, she ain't trying to keep my abs tight. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy shit. Keep her abs working, tight. applying for jobs. Hey, I got an interview <laughs> coming up. Hey. Bless it be. And you got some, you know, stuff coming up. Some oh, I shows, do. Some I, I am. I got Charmella Tyler Management. Hashtag. I'll, uh, I'll let y'all know <laughs> next week. I got that schedule. I'll let on. y'all know. Well, not next week, but I'll, I'll let y'all know. That's what's up. I've been at work. I ain't been working, but I've been at work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I finally went to the movies and saw Girls Trip. The shit I was like dope. It. The shit was funny as hell. I cannot stop laughing. But I had a good time doing that and um, just doing my schoolwork. Y'all doing anything Chilling. fun this weekend? I know oh, I was I supposed to, yes. to meet up with your ass this weekend. Yeah, now. so we went to uh, DJ Tony, had a bonfire drink on a Friday night. And that was dope. It was something different, something different to do. Was it in that same spot where we went, we tried to go there? We one tried time? Nah, you know what? It was a different spot. It was not the same location because I looked it up because if it was the same location we went to, I wasn't going to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was a different um location this we one was on murphy hood. avenue yeah Dumps. we was all in the hood we was off of uh it was no matter of fact somewhere. it wasn't that far from it that's the funny thing it wasn't that far like off of lee street or whatever it wasn't that uh, far but we was off of murphy avenue this time oh for real yeah and I it was wasn't that bad i'm out there yeah man ass. you got lit i got lit man I, listen we launched i saw all these views i was supposed to go hang out anyway i was hanging out with a friend you know how people are like we got to, even when you like, we got to celebrate, but other people are like, we got to celebrate times 10. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like, they just want to, you know, be there with you and, you know, congratulate certain things. And so I was drinking, yeah. you know, champagne and vodka. That's my done. go-to, man. She was That's trying to go-to. die. Man, I don't know what's up with champagne and vodka because you just are here and then you're Gone, there. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that 
that's champagne. You're here and then you're there. Like, what was the transition? <laughs> you need one glass of champagne you and you're good and you will have a hangover. Right. There was no transition then, you know. They... I Y'all text went you and a shit. little later. Yeah, we ain't get there to probably like twelve thirty, and then the parking situation. So we trying to park and find parking. So we finally started park. Everybody was lined up like on the sidewalk, kind of park. And then I see APD towing the cars, and I'm like, Oh, oh shit! Yeah, I said, Oh shit! So I go to the I, I go to the nigga like, Yo, you towing all the cars? Like, Oh, is this car fucked up or something? He was like, If you park it, you know, you need to move. So he was towing everybody car but the tow truck had one bed so he getting one car at a time oh no so time. He's gonna be at that hey, all night. oh i'm at the end i ain't worried about it. <laughs> exactly, exactly i'll be back so. in 20 minutes right so we took our time before we actually moved the car but that took a minute we probably ain't walk into the spot to like 12 45 wait so okay. he walked in as he was towing cars yeah we was started to walk into the bonfire and we see the nigga towing the cars and i was like yo let me go ask this nigga so how long were you in there not long Oh, okay. Wait, not long. It was like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too long, but it was cool. It was a cool spot. Listen, I got an announcement related to car towing. Fin, 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 fin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got my flat rate back with Uber. Hey! hey. hey. It's lit. Listen, shout out, shout out I got that Uber. email too. Hey, I ain't get it Y'all never time. got the flat rate with Uber, like, if you, especially if you live in Atlanta. It's the cheapest thing you're going to do. It's Hell cheaper than yeah. parking. Yes. It's cheaper than driving wherever you got to go. Like, it was it $5.99, now it's $6.99. So I go anywhere for $6.99. So I be feeling like boss. Boss out there. Hell yeah. Go oh, I'll park. go. Oh, yeah. I'll, let, I'll Uber y'all. Come on. We can just get in. I'll <laughs> Uber it. No, it's nothing. No, don't worry about it. Hey, I feel like I have a chauffeur. Yeah. I got that so, so. flat rate. Yeah. And then my friends know that when my flat rate went away and I had to start <laughs> driving again, I was like, fuck, this is some bullshit. I got to pay for parking? Right. <laughs> I got to look for a space. And, you know, my parallel parking is ass. Yeah, it's I know. It's total I'm, ass. You hate but it. But I've had to drive a little bit these past couple weeks. And so I've had it. to parallel park a couple times. Okay. So right, right. And I've been pretty good. I've impressed myself. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I'm proud of you. That's man. good. Yeah, thank you. That's I, good. I got that. since I got this new car, my parallel parking has decreased. So now I got this. Oh, you gotta learn it. I got this rear view mirror camera, and I'm trying to look at that Ooh, and no. trying to park. It's fucking me all up. I'd rather nah. just do the old school way. When I had you know a saying? rental and I had that. It was perfect. I was yeah. parallel parking like I don't. Even, <laughs> I don't, I don't like it. My next car I definitely having it. that. I don't like that shit. Yeah, I couldn't use it either. I don't like it at all, and it throws me off. Listen, people are always surprised because I'm from D.C. And they like, you from D.C.? You don't know how I park? And, but I, le- I really started driving when you got the- when I was in college. And yeah. I went to college in North Carolina. Yeah. And it's always a parking deck, situation. deck lot, lot something. Yeah. So all I'm doing is, you know, pulling in. So, you know, I, I'm a behind the curve on that. What else y'all got going on this summer? What's on the to-do list? We got like a, a month left of unofficial... Uh, summer of official summer yeah. I don't, when's I don't the unofficial know. end of summer like uh like labor now day, labor, day. labor day i think that's so what people consider weeks. summer over yeah so it's in a few pool. weeks huh? yeah. yeah we got like four more weeks Damn, of summer, i don't man. have nothing planned i know my girl she's trying to go to miami miami is like stupid hot in august i'm not really looking forward to going to miami in august but i do want to go somewhere um i want to go to dc i want to see my family yeah. before the summer and i do want to yeah. do that i don't have let nothing me know where you're really. going because i gotta go too so for sure, we can go together. Go yeah, a flight or something. Yeah, I just I was I want to go to um, DC to see my niece before she can go back to Chicago. That I means all we should all take a trip. That shit was six fifty five to DC. To DC, yes, but what I was trying to go Friday. Oh, oh no, nah, you oh, last you was, minute. You was on rich white woman status. Yeah, yeah, but I couldn't do it this time. No. Nah, I know six fifty five. But um, for six fifty five, I would have drove. You, that's, you can go to Hong Kong <laughs> for six fifty five. I wish I would pay for six fifty five for a flight. Yeah, it's like one fifty one fifty one seventy five round trip on uh, Southwest. Oh, I pay um, yeah. about that much. Yeah. I always fly Delta though. And Bougie I fly ass. whatever. I like. Southwest. I might be on Spirit in a damn long seat. Yeah, man, oh, no. <laughs> I'm with you. Like it's, it's you, so you rolling the dice. <laughs> You rolling so the dice. Sure, man. Hey, but listen, I ain't been to no beach all summer, so I'm feeling like I wish I could go somewhere, but since I'm trying to buy a condo slash townhouse and or, not and or, but or, <laughs> um, then I'm, I'm really trying not to do no trips. But 
if anybody out there want to take me on a trip. So she got fans now. <laughs> she has fans now. She out here solicited. Hey. Kier Sophia I'm Hive good... <laughs> wants to uh, <laughs> get her a buddy pass. Hey, buddy pass. I'm I cool know somebody who will, who will take you on a trip to the beach. Yeah, I'm, we know somebody. I'm good. That takes you on. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Yo, it's so many jokes I want to go into on that, but in an effort not to uh, extend this thing three hours. Right, hey, yo, we trying to be short today. I know we didn't get y'all a lot of long ones, and I'm going to try my best. So let us know how y'all feeling out there. Oh, can I say one more thing? Go ahead, say one Hey, look, we really appreciate y'all hitting us up with the quotes y'all like, you know, stuff that we don't even realize is that funny. Right. Um, so keep doing that. We want to know what y'all like, what you want to hear. I mean, besides us being ourselves. Because we ignorant. It's hell. It's but yes, we talk us. about kids. We talk about anybody. They was like, no, not the baby. Y'all didn't talk about Bash. Yes, Bash can get these jokes. Listen, anybody <laughs> can get it. We don't discriminate. Anybody us too. can get it. So if you easily offended, our living room talk is probably not for you. Because yeah. we say. Whatever. Whatever, whatever we feel at Why that not? moment it's a free country I, you pay your taxes yeah i don't censor it's no censorship up in here except yeah. for when i'm at work when i'm white people <laughs> for sure speaking of white people man i went to Ar- argosy yesterday okay you How love was that didn't, didn't i you love argosy Nigga, nah, good. that was, I like I've I been there before good. nah my first time going going there was with this girl uh that worked for decay county it's oh. my first time going it's my home girl shit so i met her out there last like, night and shit and uh, why I came, my homie why came and met me out there. So that was my first time. So I get the honey barbecue wings every time I go. Yeah, it's good. Right, they bomb. Good food. But, oh, so I ain't get invited again but, is what you saying. Nigga, it wasn't like an invite. I went after work. Uh-huh. And go then ahead. why I came go and met me. It's so, all good. So check this out. So I get the honey barbecue wings. But again, I default to the macaroni and cheese. But it's the white people macaroni and cheese. But you know, Ew. you get chicken, you want macaroni and cheese. And then I, I get it. And it's awful. Ain't got no seasoning, no flavor. And it's watery. And it's, and hey, it's been it. awful Listen, 15 times. I know, but it, I keep fucking Don't get no it. mac and cheese. If you're going to risk that lactose, like, you need to get some Sean's. And Sean, tell them about your mac and cheese. And Crack. Uh, my, my mac and cheese like that. Better um, than my grandma's. Better than my hey, mama's. That's compliments, baby. Listen, Anytime listen. somebody tells It's the me best that, I ever had. It's like the biggest black accomplishment you can get being in charge of your yeah, or potato cheese. salad. True. Listen, Bruce, I feel honored. It's your macaroni good. cheese tastes like my my cousin's macaroni cheese. Honestly, it's the, it's like this. It's so good. I'm addicted to both of y'all macaroni cheese. I can't pick one over the other. Tell your cousin come see me. We gonna have a mac hey, off. And she, she be with it. Holly. And she be with it. You know what I'm saying? A mac <laughs> off. I'm liking this. Look, as long as I can eat it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Hey, see, we going long again. Remember when we had <laughs> I the, was about uh, to bring that up. The potato cook off. Yeah, the hash brown cook off. <laughs> hey, them. Jada, what's up? Come Jada. see us, what's up, Miss <laughs> Motley? Yes, let's see hey, those. Hey, we had a potato cook off, man, and it was great. Um, Jada had what some parmesan mm. hash browns or something. Jada chopped up that fresh garlic, she chopped up that fresh onion, <laughs> she chopped up, she diced and minced everything. She could, oh my god, and she fried it to. Perfection. I yes, I don't even know what kind of oil she used, but it was the best oil. Whatever Chick Fil A used, probably. <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably. That wasn't no regular old canola oil. That was some sunflower yeah, oil. I don't so. know. I think that was something blessed by God. It was. <laughs> I ain't had nothing like that since. That sounds good. We it miss was you. Good. Shout out to Jada. Shout out to Candice and everybody who was a part of that time. That's the time when I, I met Kiera. My life been shit every since. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> hey, y'all ready to get into this shit? Hey, let's get into it. All right. Let's, you know, put your cups up. Cups up. Moment of silence. Because these transgenders trying to get y'all up out of here. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> My brother, he hit me up like, hey, you heard about Bobby Valentino, la, la, la. Because you know everybody outside of Atlanta don't know how it is. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, that's not a big deal. I mean, a lot of niggas down here do that. 
Yes, yeah, like a really lot of me. niggas. Yeah. And then me and my best friend was on the phone talking about. It. She was like, "Yeah, girl, everybody talking about everybody's Valentine." I was like, "I know, everybody do that." It's just right. a day in the life. Right? It's just a day. It's everybody. normal. It's normal shit for these niggas out here. Well, let's go through this. Uh, these events of why the transgender community is like, we not taking y'all shit no more. Y'all <laughs> not gonna say whatever. Y'all not gonna do whatever. And y'all gonna pay y'all bills. So, first <laughs> off. We got y'all president, Agent Orange, <laughs> banning transgenders from the military. Wow. Uh, Trump tweeted that transgenders will not be able to serve in the military in any capacity. Medical costs are too high, and they are a disruption. Mind you, they're already serving. Right. Like He said, he called transgender people a disruption. Like, yeah. I was like, you are, you know what, Clown. I'm going to go there today. I've no. been... Go there. I Love just hate him. him. Mm-hmm. Like he, I cannot believe that he is a a human being. Like no, he's definitely not human. I'm wondering if this is really something that he wants us. Is this something real, or is this just another react, distraction? He wants us to react to, to keep us from paying attention to the other bullshit. That's what it is. Because it didn't it come like literally the day after healthcare bill. Yeah, failed? it was exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So every time something go down, he like no look over here, right. and he used whatever it is. You know, he used. Whatever that's gonna strike a chord, you know, with people to distract them from that, and it and it's some shit. But my whole thing about it is the way that I think is if you don't like somebody, wouldn't you want them to be in the war? Right, right. True. Kill True them story. off. <laughs> True like, story. I don't mean that like that, but wouldn't you want to kill them off? Like, like if that's what his point of view is, that's not our point. No, of view. not at we, all. We ain't shit, but we don't believe that. But what I'm saying is. If I was a person that disliked whomever, mm-hmm. black people, gay people, Mexicans, whoever, I'd be like, put them all in it. Right. Yeah, I'd be like, draft them <laughs> exclusively. Exactly. Right. Let them take. Let them be on the front line. And say, like, look, this is how you get your citizenship. This is how you get all your civil rights. You win this war because you don't want them to lose the war. Because right. then we all fuck. But y'all know yeah. he ignorant. He don't know what he's talking about. He's and Trump has never served in the military a day in his life. So what, what does he's he know He's never served true. anything. Anything. He's just a businessman. So he just. I hate shit. when people say that he a businessman. He is though. I, I mean, mean, he is a businessman in the per se. He does business. Right. Yeah, that's not a that's businessman. Because any of us can be businessmen. I'm a businesswoman. I go to work every day hey. and there handle my business. Right, man. <laughs> There you I'm go. I'm a business, man. I'm a business, Hey, y'all man. fans, y'all got me feeling real, feeling myself. So I'm playing. Mm-hmm. I don't really hey. think I got no fans. I'm or just is it that, y'all. that Jack Daniels got you. The, it's like the that. Jack. It's the yeah. Jack, honey, that I'm drinking straight. And I got two cups right now. Double cup. I'm regular Jack I and honey Jack. Hey, Jack Daniels, sponsor us. I can't do Ain't Jack. Shit show, sponsor us. Tito's, that's what I'm drinking, Tito's. Shout out so to listen, the, he, Jesus Turn. Water into Tito's. I'm trying to tell you. Shout out to this gluten-free vodka. Hey, hey for real. You need Gluten, that. Gluten-free is real. I only drink gluten-free stuff. Good. I only drink that. Um, why you got me telling? Why you got me telling these people my dietary issues? They need to know that we're relatable. <laughs> Look, I'm, I want to be invincible. They might be like, "Oh no, I can't cook for her because <laughs> she <laughs> can't eat shit." <laughs> Oh, that bitch, she got a gluten? <laughs> Hold on, no. And you know when you try to explain gluten to it, black people, no, it goes. Because it's in soy sauce. It's, it's in, in everything. 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 So, look, I got a question. He says medical costs. Do the military uh, sponsor, like, reassignment surgeries or something like that? <laughs> mm. I'm That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I feel like when he say medical, girl, what? I don't know. I'm trying to figure, and I don't know, so I. Uh, they could pay for that. I wonder why they would pay for an elective surgery. Yeah. Um, however, like, I'm trying to wrap my head around what medical costs would a transgender person have that anybody else, anybody wouldn't, else have. wouldn't have. Yeah. Right. It's not a... That's a good observation. Yeah. I figure he was just talking about, like, uh, hormones. She, she Horm- pulled her hair up, and look, she looking like a damn... Conehead. <laughs> Troll, a treasure troll. Like a cone head and a treasure troll had a baby. Hey, and that's what her hair looking like. This is like. what I be doing when I'm at home. Hey, we can't tell up. the fans that. No, you just told them. You you just told our listeners about my gluten intolerance. I'm so I'm going to tell Kiera Sophia Hive about <laughs> your hair right now. Kiera and Sophia. so, you know, that little. I'll come up with Caitlin a good name for y'all. Spoke up. Girl, and you ain't spoke up about shit, Bruce. And now, 
And he like, what did I say? Voted for you. What happened to the promises you made us? Bro, shut the fuck up. Caitlyn, whoever you are. Both of y'all shut, shut the fuck the up. Shut the fuck up. Bruce because Lincoln. that is nothing but Bruce talking right there. Bruce born ass. Why did That's why Bruce he was so he was going to put on a dress and become excited? He's still <laughs> born as fuck. He's a I clown. Thought, I figured that's why he was born because he couldn't be his, his true yeah. self. That's what I thought too. I used to feel bad for Bruce yeah. on the Kardashian show. I never feel on, bad for him. He just always looked but like a woman. he was always on edge. He always looked like a woman. I'm glad he just, <laughs> He did. <laughs> he I was, I'm soul. glad but he changed. But yet as a woman, he doesn't. Yeah, he, he looked more like a woman when he was Bruce. Now, he just look, <laughs> he did. Now he Especially looks when he was at the now he's, looks like, he's confused. He's confused. Like, he looks but, like. But somebody, Bobby Valentino, gets off back page. Hey, Guys. shout out to Bobby <laughs> D. Hey. So, I'm, Bobby not, D I'm, gonna, about I'm, five I'm feet just going to do little shit at the end of this transgender trifecta because, uh, yeah, it's a lot of transgender stuff going on. So I'm here next, for it. Next is uh, Bobby Valentino. So Bobby D was aired out on social media this past weekend after allegedly not paying for sex with a transgender escort. And uh, y'all saw the video? No, I saw. I saw. You this see nigga, the video? The nigga no, was hiding his shit. He was trying to cover he his came face. Out, and shit. He was covering his face. His dick is out. <gasps> Yeah. Like his little wee wee. Yeah. Was it big? He got on. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It, it anyway, was Bobby anyway. Valentino. He's so it's small. probably. I'm he's a little nigga anyway, and we seen that anyway, nigga go ahead. He probably got girth, too. but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I didn't stare that long at anything on Bobby Valentino ever in life. Um, but <laughs> it just <laughs> looked like a. Running out of, he's like trying to get out the room, and he's like covering his face. And so he dips like in this, look like maybe a bathroom or something. And the escort is like, pay me my money, Bobby. Like, I want my money. So he grabbing his stuff. He runs in the thing, put like some pants on. And he runs out of, they're saying it's a hotel. He He's running down the hallway. Right. And the person is still recording him. Like, you forgot your shoes, Bobby. But wait, so do shoes? you think that he knew it was a tranny? For sure. For sure. Yeah, For sure. I think so too. I think that. Because it's so common. Yeah. It's common and Bobby Valentino always been a little feminine. Not to say all men got feminine tendencies are gay or right. yeah, but he always to me and that's personally he always showed like those type of traits that Jerry Curl had. He kind of <laughs> he I mean he always, he's from Atlanta. He's from Atlanta. He do the little duck lip pictures. I mean, he does a lot of oh, feminine shit. things, you know so what I'm saying? Drake so like is with a transgender right now. Hey, I don't Probably. know. Probably. So like, no, don't, don't put know. that on my Drizzy. Listen, I love you, Drake. I don't think Drake going like that. Drake just a sensitive type dude. Yeah, and that's I okay. Think, yeah, that's cool. But I think no, Bobby I Valentino is different. <laughs> no, I was. I don't. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't put that on Drake. Yeah, but, I put a lot of shit on Drake. I don't I, put that. On I don't yeah. put that on Drake. But now, if it's your preference, it's your preference. It don't matter. Right. But I think that's a preference of Bobby Valentino. Clearly, he I, just he's looks not the like, only male in Atlanta that I know who likes trannies. Right. Yeah. They like the fossy holes. He they just looked like a what, nigga that no, like. I'm sorry. Hold on. They like the what? Fossy holes? I don't even know what if that's the fuck a real is that? thing. What's a fossy hole? I don't know. Let's move past it. <laughs> no, no, we gotta address that. Oh, right. That I, I thought I was about to learn something, something new, man. Listen, Bobby Valentino is a low ass nigga. He is. That like trannies with a jerry curl. Okay, Bobby Valentino still rocking his jerry curl since. What was that group he was in? He was in a group. Mo- Blackberry molasses. Blackberry molasses. He uh, been having Mister. 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 He been having the same fucking hairdo since Mister. Shout and he had the same height. Blackberry molasses. That was my song too. Blackberry Mary molasses. That was Stand my on. shit. Shout out to that song. I love that song. But uh, is Blackberry molasses when a tranny jizz on your back? Hey, <laughs> yes. Clearly. Or is that truffle butter? Oh hey, shit! Clearly. But, but I think they really love like seeing penises. It's I think more it's more so the taboo ness right. of it. If right. taboo ness is a word. But I really think they interested it. They like that. And I I mean it's cool if you I don't want a guy who wants to have sex with trannies. Right. But I feel like if the tranny has a full vagina and no longer has a penis, then I mean she a woman, so she, yeah, she gotta yeah. disclose it. That's true. Necessarily. I mean, no, I feel like she still has to disclose it. I do feel like that, but it's not but if she is a woman, like, cause you know her gender, she's she in her mind she is a woman. A lot of 
us are a lot of things in our mind. Yeah. <laughs> you still got to communicate that I, to I'm a person. Listen, that like. this is no shade, but what I'm saying is, when it, and, and I have this when we talk about the, the next episode of the tra- Transgender Adventures, but I think There's that... There's more? Yeah. It, a lot of stuff happened this week. Shit, <laughs> regarding, well. Regarding transgenders. My question with this particular issue is, why didn't Bobby just pay? That's the whole thing. Like I was he, thinking that too, because the niggas broke. What, mind you, he ain't been doing shit. He been irrelevant. We seen I, the nigga yeah. at Bonefish Girl at the bar. Remember? Yeah, yeah he was I seen at the him bar. out a couple times, yeah. and he just regular. So me and, Fresh, and he's at least four feet. He's yeah. little at the little max. Guy. He's yeah. a little guy. So me and Fresh was at the bar at Bonefish Girl. He was there with another dude, and some female came in for that guy. Remember that? Mm-hmm. So he was talking, but Bobby was chilling. I mean. He irrelevant. I don't know what's going on with him as far as music. He probably got no Nothing. money. He probably broke. Yeah, exactly. That's why he ain't paid. But my thing is, he probably thought his name will reign, uh, I guess, and, and so he ain't got to pay no more. I don't know. He probably definitely, like, played the chick. Yeah, like, probably, they like, thought Bobby. They probably had been chatting. Mm-hmm. He yeah. probably didn't think it was going to cost. He thought yeah. he probably thought because he was Bobby Valentino exactly, and saying. he still... You know, getting but he's but, off slow down. But we in Atlanta though. Everybody, somebody in Atlanta. That's yeah. true. But some yeah. people think they are even more things in Atlanta. True. You know what I'm saying? True. true. So you be Scrappy seeing these rented pulled. Maseratis everywhere. Yeah, true. Shade. True. <laughs> so Scrappy got pulled into this because a video surfaced. Scrappy. Oh my God, <laughs> Scrappy Merlot. <laughs> you left him for dead. <laughs> Scrappy Merlot. Hey, you left, left, you left yeah. my son for dead. <laughs> That's the last. Thing. I like little Scrappy, the one making up all these words with the T. Yes, yeah. Chris Naive. Yeah, I like you Scrappy. Naive me. Yeah, yeah, he makes so me Scrappy laugh. So Scrappy got man. pulled into this by um, a video surface shortly after this Bobby Valentino video surface um, with him and Bobby Valentino in a room full of bras. All these bras look like transgender Trinity. bras in really? the video. Um. So everybody like, wait, so is Scrappy down with it too? Probably. So Scrappy got on um, uh, IG Live mm-hmm. and he basically said like, look, I ain't down with that. I don't know what this nigga into. He, he low-key kind of threw Bobby Valentino under the bus. Like, yeah. I can't vouch for what he into. Right. Most niggas would be like, nah, my man don't get yeah. down. Like, he like, I know this guy from music. And that's that's about it. He was like, and, and with that party we was at, there wasn't, you know, no transgender bitches in there. Right. He said they might have been some ugly bitches. <laughs> they uh-huh. were not. Hey, I like that. Transgender bitches. I'm scrappy. I'm scrappy. I don't see that in Scrappy. Nah, though. me neither. I like Scrappy, man. And uh, but you never know. I like Scrappy, and I, and I, his baby mother, Erica. I, something about her, I think she's attractive. She got a little strong chin. Nah, nah. It's some, strong it's, jawline. It's some about if you into that. Yeah, well, I don't think she's unattractive, but yeah. I can see a very easy transition from her facial yeah, structure yeah, to, a man's. to a male's facial structure. It's something structure. about Erica. Erica can get it. She's you know cute. She's yeah, cute. She you is, just like ratchet is. girls. No, I don't like ratchet girls. I ain't got no type. You know I don't saying? got no type. Breathing. Breathing girls are the <laughs> only thing that I like. Hey, hey, you know I ain't got no type, but, uh, but yeah, I think Erica is attractive. But Scrappy, I don't see him going that route. I don't see him fucking with no transgenders. Nah. Bobby Valentino, definitely. That shit did not surprise me. Him yeah. running out with his dick out, looking full Look foot. Looking stupid. Looking dumb as but shit. But can like, I just say he this? He like that little nigga that was like, delete all that shit. Right. Delete all that shit. Clown ass Let me just tell y'all this. Tell us this. I know some guys here in the A that you would not think like trannies or whatever. Transgender. Trans, transgenders, <laughs> transsexuals, all that shit. Trans Atlantic, but they do. And so I would not put it past Scrappy, but I just don't see that in him. Because I know someone who knows Scrappy who has done that. Yeah. Not Scrappy. I'm saying I know someone yeah, yeah, who knows yeah. Scrappy. Yeah, and, yeah. That, and he could be friends with that nigga too, but I mean, he doing it like, I feel True, like. True, but I, birds of a feather. Not always. Not they always. Oh, uh, look always. at us. They don't always. Look mean. at us. Hold on. It's a lot of feathers that we don't all do together. Right. We all got some feathers that ain't on the other person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. <laughs> That's true. You know I mean, I mean it it's like, if you want to know yourself, look at your friends. I mean, pick your oh, poison. Nah, shit, everybody man. got certain poisons. It's different. Like, I just don't agree with that. 
I don't think Scrappy. Uh, I'm not saying he does. Okay. I'm not saying that. I did not say that. But you said birds. I wouldn't put Fox it past does. anyone yeah. Yeah. because yeah, people that yeah. I've I'd be like, wow, you too. Oh, you fucking it, dudes. I just love Scrappy. So on the Breakfast Club, anyway. Lil Duval was on the Breakfast Club. He was. Oh, I heard. That. And he be DJ saying Envy issue. asked Duval, "What would he do if he found a a woman that had if he had sex with a woman?" And found out that she was transgender. Um, <laughs> Duvall's remarks uh, response was, "This might sound messed up, but I don't care. She dying." Oh, that is what he said. So that is what had the transgender community, community roll up on Charlemagne. Why Charlemagne? Because he laughed. Because he laughed. I but mean, he but just always get the brunt. Also, the person that. First of all, one thing I can't say about Charlemagne is Charlemagne definitely advocates for death. Gay. No, oh. <laughs> no, he he always down like he always like nah. People do what they want to do, whatever, whatever. But on the flip side of that, Duval is his friend, and Duval is also a comedian. Yeah. So he laughing, but he also said, you know, yeah, funny that you know that's a hate crime. Like you can't yeah. do that, but they yeah. still you know cracking up and. And, and doing all of that, but they rolled up on Charlemagne because let's be honest, like this is probably the most press that Bobby Valentino and Lil Duvall have ever gotten yeah. in their entire careers. And Charlemagne is the the bigger fish and able to you know track him down a little bit better. Um, are people being too sensitive? No, I would say they not being too sensitive because for one. First of all, uh, the death of transgender people is a real thing, and they getting killed all the time, all every day, and just for being themselves or true mm-hmm. to themselves. So, even if he was joking, he's still pushing an agenda per se. So, do you think that my honest reaction is advocating against the murder of transgender? Yes. What you're saying is if. It, we were just talking about this last week or one of the podcasts where it's just like, yo, if a person give you an STD that's uncurable, like, I'm going to jail. Like, I'm fucking them up. I'm mm-hmm. going to kill them. I'm going to do whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So if a person fails to, he's saying that, look, if a person fails to disclose this and me and them had a one-on-one, then I'm going to fuck them up. I'm going to kill them. That is. I don't know about murder yeah, though. That's, 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 murder that's is excessive. Harsh. Yeah, that's harsh, man. My thing is like, just like um, you have to know who you laying down with, even when it comes to people like with STDs. You gotta get your partner tested. You have to know what you're doing with people. You know what I'm saying? Even though you might not be able to tell sometimes, but at the end of the day, you still have to know what you're doing. He might enjoy what he got going on with that transgender. Then he find out later that it's a man. I mean, you can kill somebody for that. I bet you had a good time. Yeah, it's been happening yeah. a lot, but, though. Yeah, but, I mean, that's a hate it's crime, his man. Point, his thing was, you can't make me gay without my permission. I mean, that's not making you gay, though. You did you not did know. You did it to a woman. So, so that's my thing. You did not know. It doesn't make you gay. You did not know. So, yes, I will be... I will be upset. You should be upset. But at the same time, you can't kill, take nobody's life over there. Well, we don't know if he would actually do it. But he's saying that his first reaction is, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, that's harsh. Man. I say a lot of shit like, yo, if somebody touch my nieces, like, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, that's, that's I don't different. think I have you know the... I, I, I personally didn't take it as a, this is a threat on the transgender community. Right. I took it as, one, this guy's a comedian. This is his job. They're always, you know. They're but, always trying to make people laugh. However, if this is my genuine reaction mm-hmm. to this, am I am I saying that I feel like transgender should all be murdered? Or am I saying if a person does not disclose things that I need to disclose them to disclose, whatever that may be, my first reaction is I'm fucking them up. <laughs> Yeah, fucking them up and killing them is two different things. Yeah, true. So I, but, get, I get that. Yeah, you can fuck them up, but come on, man. Taking somebody's life over something like that, when you agreed to lay down with this person, regardless they did not disclose it, you uh, you lay down with them. That's what you wanted. You might have approached them. Who knows who came at who, and that's the thing. Like, you might have went at them. So Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's my whole thing. So like, they know that I, they, like, I look fine the way I am. Right. You came at me. Okay, so me still over here playing devil's advocate. When you are a, you being a black person or being a woman or whatever the case may be, 
you know situations where you might put yourself in danger, right? Right. You're, you're a woman. You might not go to a party that's full of all niggas you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You might not go into a certain town because black people don't normally be up in that bitch. You right. know what I'm saying? If I am a transgender person, whether I'm post-op or pre-op, shouldn't you disclose this to keep yourself out of a situation where you might run into a Duval or somebody who didn't appreciate you not disclosing whatever to them. I would say I, I see both sides. Like, yes, you probably should, but I can't relate because I'm not a transgender person. And if I'm, if I can go inside their mind for a second, one of their, per, one of the mind of a transgender person for a second, they are thinking I am my true self I am a woman, and that's who I've always been meant to be. I was born into the wrong body, but now I have changed my body to fit who I am. Why do I need to tell anyone that? Because it's their personal truth. So if that's the case and that's how you feel, don't you have to deal with people who are not you, who are not in your brain? You have to protect yourself at the end of the day. So I'm not in your brain. I think. People think that fucking black people are fucking animals. So if I see one, I'm going to shoot one. Because I'm I'm not. In my brain, you're an animal. Mm -hmm. In my brain, you know, you are this type of person. But it's all about protecting yourself. yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get, don't get me wrong. I get all day that I believe that people are born in the wrong body. Mm -hmm. I definitely believe that 100%. My whole argument is. You have to protect yourself. And yeah. if you want to be with somebody, you need to be with somebody that's okay with you being the authentic you because they're going to be them authentic self. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just feel like it's a certain level of disclosure that has to be done to protect yourself. Yeah. I mean, especially with uh, there are so many transgender deaths happening, murders. Mm -hmm. I want to give it its due diligence. People are being murdered all the time yeah. for being transgender and not telling people. So, I mean, I get that. It's unfortunate, but I would I would definitely say that Lil Duval was a little bit, um, even though he was being funny, what people actually deal with isn't funny to them. Yeah. So, And he was on a public platform. So... Yeah, you gotta be careful what you say sometimes. Like. So when 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 is when do you have to be PC and when can you just be yourself? Because this podcast we say all types of fuck shit. We do. If we were on a bigger platform, a lot of shit that we say, even though it's our true opinions of how we feel, it could be deemed as problematic. Yeah. I mean, fuck everybody. Fuck what they think. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I said, but, listen, it's all, I can see both sides of everything. You feel I can me? Too, just, just. No, I can see both sides. I'm, I'm asking the questions here. I'm just trying to I'm just saying. both thought to see. Murder is harsh. He was talking about murder, like killing somebody. It's a hate crime. So I look like that's but pushing I think the he envelope. Had to push a point. He had to make a point. Like, yeah. if you do that to me, this I'm, is the result. It's the repercussion. Yeah. yeah. If somebody give me AIDS he, and I'm going to die, I'm going to kill you. And look at all. That's it. Like, that's so little Duvall so a hood harsh? nigga. Lil Duvall a hood dude. He ain't gonna be sit up there and say, you know, I would sit them down, I would talk to them, and I would say, Well, why do you think you did that to right, me? Right, right. You know, see, so I see, get AIDS it. is different. AIDS is different. That's a that's a death sentence right there, right? You're gonna die from it, right? So that's You can't different. die from fucking a tranny. Exactly. Unless so they AIDS have is AIDS. different. If I know you giving me motherfucking AIDS, then yes, you're gone. You I'm know just what saying, saying so from that's a, a first different reaction thing. type thing. Like if somebody because he was Ask the question. It's not like he just came out of nowhere and was just like, yo, if I was in Bobby Valentino's situation, I would have killed him. Like, it wasn't like that. They specifically um, asked him, hey, if you found this out, what would you do? And it probably wasn't the best thing. Who knows if he would even murder somebody. But as a nigga, and as a real nigga, and as a hood nigga, he like, I'm going to kill that motherfucker. Yeah, I right. He didn't say I'm just going to go out and start hunting trannies and they all deserve to die. Yeah, right. true. I feel like I'm about to say something that's going to be real unpopular. Well, I just, <laughs> it's the home of booze views and unpopular I just opinion. feel like I get that um, others, like, and I use that in a quotation, air quotes, like we, there's always an other, a group of others. Um, and I feel like the transgender group, specifically since that's who, who we're speaking about, you cannot expect everyone to understand. Exactly. And by just 
going at him and this show needs to be cut off the air. <laughs> I mean, come on, really? How about you pick your favorite public person? Janet take Roth, La- 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 Laverne La- 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 Cox. Yeah. Take them, put them on air and do some education. You cannot expect the majority of people. Right to understand what it feels like to be born into the wrong body or to have a sex change or to feel like you're actually not gay, even though someone might be like, oh my God, I fucked a dude. So you have to understand too. So it's, and that's another thing with just outside groups. And I'm just saying all groups, all of the groups that feel like they're outside. All of us fit in that category. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you, we, we always tend to just, Rah, rah, rah. But it's like, come on, meet them where they are. That's true. Yeah, they exactly. ain't just, That's if true. they don't, they don't get that. it. Yeah, you got, you got to educate yourself. You know, a lot of people just don't know. Should, yeah. should Duvall apologize? Because he said he not apologize. Nah, nah. I don't think he, I don't think he should. I don't think he truth. should. Yeah, I don't think he right. should apologize. I'm just trying, nah. I mean, that's his opinion. I don't agree with it. That don't mean he should apologize. I think an uh, easy, like, listen, I'm not saying you should go out killing anybody yeah. for that thing. But... <laughs> This was my truth. And Duvall, like, fuck it. I'm not apologizing. No, and I appreciate and that. Yeah, I appreciate him sticking by what he's sticking yeah. by. Stick by your truth. I'd rather know who who. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regardless. I That's the only one thing that you can give, and I hate saying this, you can give Trump credit for because he a dick-ass nigga. Right. He don't try not to be a dick-ass nigga. And he lets you see he a dick-ass nigga. Fuck boy. He is. He, he the worst. But whatever, we not. I I told you I can't keep talking about him. He really makes me angry. So, the the, the transgender community this week is lit as shit. I mean, I feel like uh, we started out real lit, <laughs> <laughs> and then it just got shit. Like it's gonna be slit. Slit, slit. It's like lit shit. I don't. I can't even. I don't All right, give know, us, man. give us a what like we can judge it on. Cause I, I, I'll give you my. Uh, uh, All right, do that. Do synopsis that. Synopsis or my <laughs> what I'm saying. I think it's lit. Forgive me, I'm about to stir up my drink real quick. I think it's lit because I feel like with every minority, you got to stand up for your fucking self. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Bobby Valentino, give me my fucking money. Yes. Girl, let me fucking fight if I want to fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, Lil Duval, we not taking your shit, even though it was your, you know, your opinion. I feel like they turning up. So, so it's I lit. Like I feel like you're right. Up. It's lit. Like That's lit. lit. Hey, That's it's lit. unanimous, hey. B. <laughs> Hey, shout out to all the transgender people who are living their truth. There is nothing greater than living and standing in your truth. So that's what's up. Shout out. Hey, tell your friend, tell your transgender friend to listen to the show. Yeah, (laughs) real talk. The whole Atlanta, just listen to the show. Atlanta, where you at, baby? Atlanta, because it is just a day in the life in Atlanta. Uh, I want to touch on one more story before we, we move along from little shit. So I like talking about this subject because when I when I talk about this particular subject, it always um, strike a chord. This nigga over here taking, taking selfies. Pictures, man, like, we recording this kissing ass nigga over here taking selfies. Listen, I gotta take selfies. Hey, it be the day. same Come selfie. It's Come just on a now. different background. Hey, y'all follow her at what's your uh, Insta? My Instagram, uh, Live Life Love. That's L- the softest. <laughs> hey, listen, don't hate. <laughs> Don't hate, don't hate. Live don't hate. life. And she spell it different as fuck. Right. I do, I do. You she understand said she it out. spell it like a teenager with threes mm-hmm. and twos and Ys and, and capital and A's. A's. <laughs> as you As you hear, we ain't shit. We going each other in here. Hey, <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly, they clown hey, me. Hey, spell out your Insta so they can see this selfie that you post over and yeah, over in different you outfits. You follow her. Hey, so it's uh, L-I-V, L-Y-F-3, L-U-V. Yes, that's hard. Gay. Just you one time. Yours while you giving out. I'm just Kiara Sophia underscore. Mm-hmm. And I'm at DC Fresh. All right, now can we move back on to the yes. podcast while y'all <laughs> out here getting hives together? We get a couple little downloads. They don't know how to act. <laughs> Ego is already not. I'm doing an way. autograph signing. Um, <laughs> I'm killing. I'm playing. But this next topic, uh, Bree from the Shady Bunch and Kiara. Um, I think they feel like I'm hating on this person all the time just because I don't like the fact that she opens her mouth. I think that she should just sit and be pretty. 
So Amber Rose basically said she was the finest girl in Philly. Oh, (laughs) Amber. (laughs) She didn't say it. Yes, she did. Amber Rose was on an episode of The Drink Champs. And one of the observations revolved around her and how her appearance shaped her life. And Amber says, and I quote, I don't know how I can say this without sounding fucked up. First of all, that's where you should have stopped. Yeah. <laughs> that's where you should have stopped. That's really. where you should have stopped. But a lot of people where I'm from are traditionally attractive. And I people. just mean traditional Damn. in the like sense of traditional. <laughs> that's okay. And she continued to say, to grow up in such an area and be blessed with beauty, it was very difficult for me. Damn, that's messed wham, up. Wham, that's wham, fucked wham, up. Wham, I ain't so pretty. <laughs> but she really not that cute. But she too. wasn't oh, that oh, cute, oh. though. Oh, prior she not, to I mean, she cute surgery. now, but I mean. Kanye was responsible for that glow up. I don't yeah, care I don't who was responsible. I'm saying Amber can get it all day. And I'm I mean, not, she got a fatty. I don't, I don't care for Amber. No, man. Amber is... is Hot. She's yeah, I don't, super attractive. I don't care for her. I just, I just don't like when she opened her mouth. Yeah, she, she yeah that's why I think Kanye had the right thoughts. Like, I'm tired of these vixens opening their mouths, mm-hmm. man. Like, if you are, are a vixen that is can actually articulate themselves, right. that's one thing. Yeah. But don't fuck it all up by talking. That's yeah, true. I haven't I met one yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't care not what even, she got to not, say. Not, not now, one of them. I care less what she has to say. So the she whole Philly really mad about the, the, the bitches in Philly, the whole Philly man, like, what do you mean? So my question is, what is traditionally attractive? Hey, listen, I'm going to tell you what she also said, low-key. She said, because I'm all, I mean, I grew up in the hood, and people will always be like, well, you're not from over there. You're not from over there. I know there. somebody who used to say that, but I'm not going to say it on air. But, um, about her? No. Oh, about oh yeah, 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 yeah. People say, are you from around here? Because they don't usually see girls like me around here. I mean. I'm looking like. What's so special about you? Baby? So, uh, okay, a- admittedly, I've heard that a couple times too, but I'll be like, nah, fuck that. Girls from where I'm from, we like this. This is how we are. What is this? this whatever is- I, whatever you so- see in me. I don't know what it is necessarily. It's fine. But I'm it's- just saying whatever, because it'd be like countryness or how you dress. It's not necessarily like looks. Well, we're talking specifically about yeah. looks. That's what Amber is talking about, like, I was the prettiest bitch in Philly. But it's Amber Rose. She's ignorant as fuck. It's five bitches everywhere. Philly, it is. Philly included. Come on now. She just retarded. Not where so she my from, argument evidently. Is always Amber plays the victim. I yes. feel like Amber plays the victim a lot because she opens her mouth. And I feel like Amber. <laughs> She's just ignorant. I feel like Amber has um, big ideas in her head. But, but she can't articulate them pro- properly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like colorism and mm-hmm. things like yes. that. And right. feminism. She's very and oh, yeah. things like that. Like I get where she wants to go with these things. She doesn't but do it. But it well. just comes out like a bird. It just no. comes out like serpent. What she did, so I read okay, so I didn't hear about her comments until I saw her response video. And I saw comments on her page, and they were like, you basically just feed into the idea that light-skinned girls think mm. they better. And I'm like, no, don't say that. <laughs> Are we still talking about this? Fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, Amber, you just set us back, bitch. Yeah. yeah. But she really, she just shouldn't have said it. Yeah, when she sure. said this might sound fuck. Now, I just want to say that drink champs, uh, they drink. Oh, okay. So she was drunk. Show. So she, she, was but lit. drinking pull out your real thoughts. <laughs> drinking is drunk. Drunk. That's why we drink on this show. Drunk mind tells so, the sober thank truth. Thank you, girl, because gotcha, I over here was doing that. Uh, you was, you I just struggled. said that. Uh, I drink. Said that um, somebody in this room. Mm. Oh, man. So, and we said that, you know, Amber was not that attractive. But I mean, she, she wasn't ugly. Don't what get me she's wrong, talking but she's about, not who she is now. What she's talking about all. is traditional beauty, because that was your question yeah. initially. And unfortunately, what she is talking about as traditional beauty is just simply light skin, because just being light skin don't make you pretty. We all right. know that. But all know Amber is saying that she she was just saying people called, thought she was pretty because she was light skin, and that's unfortunate for her. Because that's her feeding into colorism. She yeah. could have might have she might have just been pretty. She might have just had a banging body. I think ain't she Kate Verdian or some shit yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. So she could have just had an interesting look. 
right. which had nothing to do with her skin complexion, but she made it about colorism. She drank her own Kool Aid. I feel she like. did, and she made it about colorism. Herself. Like, mm-hmm. and it was like, come on, girl. Just because you light skin don't mean nothing. I know brown skin girls who are better than any yeah. bitch I've ever seen. Yeah, for sure. But I think that here's two things about Amber. The only th- Amber can be replaced at any given time yeah. with any other light skin girl who shaves and- her head. Right, that's what I was going to say. The shaved head is basically the signature. Yeah. And Kanye put her on. You know what I'm saying? So without Kanye, like, and that shaved head, if, if Amber grew her hair I would out, never... they will be over her very, very quickly. Yeah. Because you'll, be, you'll look just like the rest of the She's very like basic. The Instagram models. She's yeah. very basic. And, and I don't like mean... Tory that... Bricks, though. Fine. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I just think she's basic. I mean, I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I just don't find anything very enthusing. Uh, uh, that probably ain't the right word. I'm drunk. I'm, I'm, I'm she's zip, drunk. I'm tipsy. She's drunk. I don't find anything enticing or attractive necessarily yeah, about yeah. Amber. I disagree with you. I think Amber is beautiful. She's just ignorant. She's beautiful. I beautiful. I I beautiful. Beautiful talks about a being. Yeah. She's beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me tell you something. Physically, she's beautiful to me, and that's just what just I'm attracted she to. Just say she's cute or pretty. No, but... because that's not how I feel. So I'm gonna tell you. Uh, yeah, let you know her say how so she like, feels. Hey. We don't agree, but yeah, hey. hey. yeah. Hey. And you know, I've been drinking, so drinking make a nigga look extra fine. <laughs> so, but still, this Here goggles, this, Amber, right. no, Amber is a this, very attractive. Yeah, that's to, I wouldn't to go me. beautiful though. That's she, a whole other To me, like I'm looking at her body and her face. She's very attractive. Her cheekbones, her smile. She's very attractive to me. She's just stupid as fuck. And that's just what it is. Have you, know you watched her show before? Never. I wouldn't for what? I just care what she looks like. I don't, don't give a fuck what she got to say at her mouth. Yeah. Hey guys. I don't I don't want to hear none of that. I just want to look at her. Hey like, guys, let's talk about being a hoe. I want to make hoe unpopular. Yeah. I want to be able to fuck who I want. You guys can't call me names. <laughs> That's feminism when you call me names. Like, can you just be with it and let me damn suck on You talking NBA? way too fast to be Amber right now. <laughs> True. And a little bit too articulate, if I may say so. <laughs> So you need to back that she up. She said, "Ever say all the bitches levels. in Philly look like Meek Mill." No, Shut the fuck up. Hey, I'm about to say that's fucked <laughs> up. She <laughs> fucked up for that one. <laughs> Oh, Damn, she wanted like to Big say Bill. that. She wanted to say that. That's fucked up. It's a, it's fine, bitches everywhere, man. She's ignorant, man. Give her a pass. And, I know and, she's ignorant. And fine coming all flavors and you yeah, know, don't matter where like, you from, like yeah. you can find a fine bitch anywhere. And like, every come you on, know, man. beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I'm sure True. we can find people that's like, I don't really dig Amber like that. She, she don't really do it for me. Right, like me or Sophia. She don't really feel Amber, but I nah, do. I mean, I don't so think she's ugly. So Amber being the uh, shit. prettiest girl in Philly. Shit, shit, that's shit. That's shit, shit. That's shit. That's shit. Sure. Yeah, that's definitely shit. Yeah, you Amber, get shit. your shit together. You don't say don't shit. Like don't say no spell. stupid shit like that no more, Amber. Because you setting us back. You making me have to fight battles I ain't even <laughs> asked for. Oh, light skin struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Donate 99 cents a day to the light skin struggle to help get a light skin girl education. Nah, but that shit. But we about to move into our game. Yes, you can't have me too. We about to get you fucked up. All right, y'all, we moving into ancient shenanigans. As y'all know by now, this is our drinking game portion of the show today's game is called pc plot twist this game is where i describe a classic black movie in a politically correct way oh fuck (laughs) let's get it in order to answer you have to drink your shot and then you're able to answer best three out of five wins the game currently brie has two wins Kiera has one win. T has zero wins. Zero. T, it's time for you to get on the board. Yeah, Kiera, sure. Sophia, it's time for you to defend your crowd. Because you know you and Brie going to go head up if you get there. Hey, if me and Brie go, Brie, I am coming for <laughs> you. All right, I'm going to read this movie, all right? A young man is fired after being accused of acquiring packaging materials without permission. Friday. (laughs) Boom. It's Friday. You ain't got no job. Hey, 
Let me, hey, let me, uh, let me read this. I lost this <laughs> motherfucker already. I'm looking like, what the a fuck? A young man Woo! fired after being accused of acquiring packaging materials without permission on his unscheduled work day. Mm-hmm. The young man's friend instructs him that the weekend is about to start. So he should engage in illegal drugs because he has nothing else on the agenda. That's she got it. Friday. She got it. She got it. She exactly. got it. Uh, it's definitely Friday. Right, so we have one. Woo, girl, I don't know how I did that. Zero fatigue. It y'all, was that first word. Y'all know, that first three yeah. words. Y'all know I'm in slow motion. Hey, you girl, better you better speed, speed up. up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hey, we Next just dropped knowledge on you. Sun, sun. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four young African American males go on inner city adventures while trying to navigate living in the southernmost central point of Los Angeles, California. One of the pivotal brothers. The wood. Wrong. Brothers. Wrong. One of the pivotal scenes is where one of the young boys in the hood. Yes. Motherfucker. <laughs> one of the pivotal scenes is where <laughs> one of the done. boys. I this shot for no reason. <laughs> surveys the rest of the group and see if they're interested in gandering. <laughs> Taking a gander at a human corpse. Oh, you want to see a dead body? Yeah. You need to <laughs> leave with shit. it. Leave nah. with the lead. <laughs> Listen, I'm 0-2 right now, and you I'm going to be fucked 2 up. right now. You ready right now? You just pull And I got an interview. Nah, I, I just pull, want everybody to know you're a bitch-ass nigga. I pulled vodka first, nigga. I just got to top it all with some motherfucking shit. Like, hey, I'm drinking now. Jack, honey. Cheetos all day. All right. Y'all ready? Yes. Okay. So the score is 2-0. Come on, T. I'm rooting for you. This one is for you. Don't let her get just three straight. Man. Listen, hey, I'm tore up right now. Go ahead. Okay. Four females who each are enduring respective financial hardships divide Set it off. Land. Boom. Hey, let's get it. Hey, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, T. Hey, came we back. Ready. We ready. We ready. Hey, we ready. She hey. is ready. You ready? Hey, Tina, I didn't come to play with you all. Hey, she got that shit when you said four females. <laughs> I saw her take a drink. I was like, what is it? It's not girlfriends again. <laughs> oh, I think man. this one's going to be a little bit harder, right? Hold on. All right. Let me mix it. Uh, niggas know. Ooh, I got to eat them two little slices of pizza before I go to bed. Hey, y'all, she brought two individual slices of pizza. Let Not me, for nobody else. Yeah, that means she was not sharing. Right. <laughs> And it's like, <laughs> fuck they, okay, teams. but it's not bullshit. It's veggies. But look, T had Panera. True. That shit was Sean wrong. had Chipotle. True. That's two meals for seven dollars. That Panera was so good. Hey, my so based, was we good. all it was spent for yourself night. It wasn't Taco Night today for, for sure, me. Sure. <laughs> hey, it was Taco Tuesday. I had Chipotle. All right, all right. I'm gonna go with. Hey, also, when you ever go to Chipotle and wanna um, you want the tacos, just get the bowl and then ask for a tortilla. You get way more food. Anyway, go ahead. Keys, keys. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> T ready. T is ready for you. <laughs> All right. T. A young. You don't ur- look ready. <laughs> you ready? Yes. A young urban venture capitalist finds a way to expand his empire by mixing cocaine with sodium bicarbonate. He recruits a staff to acquire residency in an inner city dwelling known as the Carter. A former client joins forces with the police to take down the venture capitalist and his organization. What? A former member of the police joins. No, a former client joins forces with the police to take down the venture capitalist. Okay, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna take my drink because I'm gonna just start guessing. Five. New Jack City. Yes. What? <laughs> how? She get how? Point? Okay, how? Wait, how she guessing? How? 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 That sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda. Mix it cocaine with baking soda. <laughs> Listen, she probably reading through your sheet. No, I wasn't. Like, I wasn't reading through her sheet. I can't read it, backwards. Baby. Yes. Let's get I it. win. Oh, Bree. Bree. Bree, what up, B? Well, I can save my liver for that. Hey, Bree. She's coming <laughs> for you. We two and two. It's going to go down. Hey. Hey, congratulations, Kiara Sophia. Congrats. I just guess because when you said he was selling something. He mixed cocaine. I was like, it gotta be a set of some a drug movie. Yeah. And it's I a lot of drug movies. But you guessed New Jack City. 
I don't know how. I would have said Sugar Hill and next. That's, and that's my movie too, New Jack City. But hey, that, that's funny. That political. And he made them. He up. made them. Um, that was political. Cut correct. that cool He did. That was a good game. Good. Nigga, sit your fat all ass up. I'll make change. Exactly. That's my shit. Exactly. <laughs> all right, we gonna move into listener letters. Oh, that's me. That's Ain't me. Shit into sin. All right. I heard that I be, I be oh. popping my tongue. Stop popping your tongue. I want to right, now. Yeah. Move into our first ain't shit, two cents and ain't shit. I'm drunk. I'm definitely <laughs> drunk. I said, let me let me tell y'all what we I'm doing. We all drunk. I decided that because I, I need decided. my belly fat to diminish and deplete, yeah. I have been drinking straight alcohol with ice. Yeah. So, blur. Yeah. My, my, blank, my, blurring, my brain says blur. All right, come on. We like an hour in. We okay, listen to letters. We're going to do this fast. How how soon? <laughs> Wait, time. Ha, ha. All right, go ahead. Read. How soon is too soon to become engaged for marriage? Are people, particularly women, so desperate to be married or perhaps so hard up for a wedding that they will commit to marriage before they've spent enough time truly getting to know a person? This person sound like they going off on somebody. Mm. <laughs> How long is too long to be engaged? Again, could it be true that women are so hard up for marriage that they'll settle for a five-year or an indefinite engagement? Is something wrong with an engagement that lasts many years? Okay? One more question. Okay. Are people more concerned with the marriage or the wedding? 50% of marriages end in... This person's smart. 50% of marriages end in divorce. So many people... They're smart because they know that stat. Yeah, are doing something wrong. So many people are doing something wrong. Damn, that last part touched my soul. What, the 50%? No, that so many people are doing something wrong. Listen, here's my take on that. I feel like definitely people are more about having a wedding than getting married. They want to have a party. Everybody wants to have a party. Look how many more parties have evolved from people having a baby. We having gender reveals. We having all this shit. People just want to have a fucking party. A right. wedding is just a party. If you really love somebody, you'll just go down to the fucking courthouse and y'all be married with nobody. Married. You don't have to have no celebration about it. But the thing about it is, I think that people think of mainly women, because I don't really think men, a lot of men think this way, but I think that women think of marriage as this accomplishment mm-hmm. and Definitely. it's not it's just a decision anybody right. can get married right we can get married right now in this room if we want to that don't mean we accomplish something right. you know what i'm saying and women are willing to get with anybody who's willing to fill that spot when you go out with somebody and the first thing they talk about is getting married and all that other stuff stuff you just like look you're just looking for somebody to fill this spot mm-hmm. so you can go brag about this piece of jewelry that you have yep you know what I'm saying? And that's it. So I think that weddings are overrated. I think marriage is overrated because people don't really believe in the true essence of what it's supposed to be about. Yeah. It's supposed to be about two people coming together, sharing their life together, and building together. Right. People just want to have a party and have a status. That's true. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I think most women, they want to be accepted by their friends, by their peers. And, and so they want to get married and say, oh, this nigga proposed to me the whole time. This nigga probably cheating. Basically, right. you know I've what I'm saying? seen that he probably, a million times. Right, he probably is sorry this nigga and probably cheating on you. But they don't even care about that. They cool nope. with that. He got a side bitch, but they cool as long as they get that wedding and get that ring. They, they just sh- want to be able to tell the side bitch, hey, I'm his wife versus I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> exactly. But you ain't no better because you in the no. same boat. You ain't right. no better. You know what I'm saying? He working both of y'all. So I think women, they just want that. To, to brag, like you said, to brag to their friends and everybody else, like, oh, he wants me, I'm with him, and that's that's it. But as far as the, she said it's the time. She asked a question about the time. Yeah, she said, how long is too long to be engaged? But, I so for that question, I don't think it's really a time limit. I think it's relative. It depends on how much time you spend with that person, right? So it depends on how much time you spend with them. Like, you can spend with them every but what's day. what's the point, every, though? What's the point of getting engaged if you're not about yeah. to get married? And, uh, look at Carmelo and Lala. 
They married though, right? Yeah. yeah, they got married after forever, though. Do y'all not remember really? that? Yeah. They it, were it, engaged it, at least five or six years. But it, dep- really? it depends. Yes. But look where they at now. They divorced. Exactly. So if you are de- engaged for that long and you don't get married, there's a problem. I don't think yeah. so. I no. think so. I yeah. I don't there's, think so. Why, okay, so let me ask you this. What's the difference between y'all being in a relationship and y'all being engaged if y'all gonna be engaged for three four five years right what's the point i mean it depends on where where they at at that point in time like the point like of engagement what? is to be married you because start- y'all can just continue to be in a relationship for these next five years mm-hmm. true but i mean i just i feel like the t- the top here please don't Solicit me to drink this shot. Oh, okay. yeah, because she get three shots. I see that. She want me to take this shot Oh, right I do now. get three shots. You do get three shots. Listen, she trying to get me to take the shot. I'm trying to answer People this rarely use them. So, look. I'll take you one didn't, one. I didn't know I had three shots last My week. Bad. That's cool. <laughs> I'm going to use them this week. <laughs> T, take that shot, please. Hey, but I, I feel like it de- it depends. Like, you could be engaged for five years. T, take the Why shot. Why is that okay? Why isn't it okay? You know what so I'm saying? Like, why, why would you be okay? in a... But you, the I, point I, of engagement is to be transitioning. So you have boyfriend, girlfriend, engagement, marriage. Okay? Right. So you can be engaged for three days. But why be mm-hmm. engaged for 30 years? I ain't saying 30 years. That's excessive. Five years is excessive. So I'm just saying, like, to know that that's the person you want to spend the rest of your life with. Well, what's it's taking okay. you so long to be it's, with them? It's not that it might, might not take so long. You never know. They might be trying to plan for the perfect wedding. You get what I'm saying? So True, like, but you that need goes to be to planning. Party, that goes back to the party. Because right. if we really love each other, we don't have to have a $100,000 wedding. Yeah, but I mean, so, I get... Okay, so the reason... I would totally do a courthouse wedding. I would go and put on a white suit or white pantsuit, and I would totally do a courthouse wedding. Because <laughs> I... I am all about, like, the marriage. Right. I love weddings. I work in weddings. I direct weddings. But I get, I know for a fact that they are pointless. Yeah. It's all yeah. about everybody else. Yeah. So when True. you get married, you're having a party for everybody else to celebrate you. It's a show. But I'm not going to spend all my money, and I'm not going to spend forever planning it either. Especially since I work in them. It's so we still haven't gotten to why this long limbo point. And I guess since T is the only person that agrees with the limbo I agree. Limbo I think point, it, I think it's to keep the woman on the hook or keep the man on the hook. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, so the you only agree reason. that it's some fraud shit, basically. Oh, it, it's definitely some long fraud shit. Long engagement is nothing but a promise for Yeah, me. of course, for sure. And I, and I don't see nothing wrong with that. In the person. <laughs> so look. Wait, wait, wait. But look. I don't. I don't tea don't, in the river. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it for my. I don't the person I'm not, on the hook for I'm not saying for my personal, for my personal. I'm just saying like in general, like I don't see nothing wrong with that. And the person who is on the hook should know that they're on the fucking hook. True. So that's True. my thing. You know what I'm saying? So. But a lot of people have hope. Fuck your hope. You know you wouldn't know good motherfucker that really just. But they don't know. Thank you. But no, 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 no. But listen. And I done that. Me. I done that with my ex. Like <laughs> you proposed to your ex. I did propose to my ex, and I knew I wasn't gonna marry him. Been engaged before. See, you were engaged. Wow. Yeah, but y'all we know, gotta talk about that a little bit. But we y'all gotta know talk me because I'm a sorry ass nigga, and that y'all know I'm about to marry my ex. But <laughs> yeah, I did. You wasn't. Uh, Ex, we wasn't hey, I'm we coming to all your did. weddings. <laughs> I'm coming to all your weddings. <laughs> hey, listen, why we got buy people gifts because they made a decision? I'm not giving you shit. I'm giving you money to pay for my plate, and that's it. I'm giving you twenty five to thirty dollars <laughs> to pay for your plate. Yes, because it's expensive. Weddings are expensive, and I acknowledge that. And thank you for inviting me to your party. And if you have an open bar, I appreciate that. So no, you gotta have an open bar. Don't so invite me to your shit if you don't have no open bar, because I don't want to be there in the first place. And if I'm not drunk, I definitely don't want to be there. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, I but I mean, I I see it differently because I love the beautiful the beautifulity. Of, uh, is that a word? Nope. Not at all. Hey, but, but I like it though. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hey, I like that. Hey, beautiful hey, hashtag. Hey, <laughs> Korea, Korea <laughs> Sophia. Pierre <laughs> Sophia High. Hashtag. <laughs> Create words and shit. Beautifality. Beautifality. <laughs> I like that shit. Beautifality, man. <laughs> oh, Damn, Pierre Sophia. Pierre Sophia High. 
Your Stop. leader is a fucking old man. She, <laughs> she laughs like a geezer. She just finished hey. smoking. My All man. your fans out there have left the building. Right. No, I'm sorry, guys. Let me come sound, over the fresh let me sound sexy. Come over the fresh high. Fresh high. Fresh high. Hey, come back. Come fresh. back. But no, seriously, real talk. Weddings are beautiful and you see pretty dresses and you see fun and, you know, people get to fellowship and and enjoy each other. But other than that, they're pointless. The whole sermon is bullshit. The whole love each other through thick and thin and forever through love and sickness and death do us part. That's all bullshit. (laughs) <laughs> them people don't even be listening when the damn preacher saying that. I be looking they at them people. They just be ready to kiss. They kiss. just be like, all right, come on, it's hot out here. Let's kiss and get it's it It's hot. Out. Come on, let's get inside. Let's have his reception. I'm hungry. So how long is too long for an engagement? I think more than two years is too long. 18 months is, that's it. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm you can plan a months. good wedding in eighteen months. How long is too long? Hey, and listen, you people that are getting married, the people y'all work with and y'all friends, don't want to hear about that shit for eighteen months. We don't give a fuck. Just let us know when to show up if we are invited. Because I don't give a fuck to come to your wedding. That's They're all real. the same. They're, that's real. And y'all, fifty percent chance y'all gonna break up. And I want my gift back. Yeah. I actually, <laughs> but let me tell you something, Loki. Oh, I don't want to run over, Go but. Ahead. Basically, like, I do weddings all the time. Mm-hmm. And I can look at these people and say, oh, they're not going to last. Oh, yeah, she's going to break up with him. Oh, he's going to break up with her. Or that some it'd it be crazy, like, how you see 50% of marriages. 50% of the weddings I've done, I know that ain't going to last. Yeah, because 50% of people shouldn't be getting married in the first place. 50% of mother. And About then, 90% of people should not be getting married, but they do it anyway. Anyway. Right. Sure. I so 90% of the 50% of people who <laughs> actually stay married are miserable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's a yeah, business decision. Okay. Listen, I agree. I'm not, oh, uh, um, I'm not one of those people where I've, you know, I've dreamt of a wedding and all of that stuff. If I get married, it's because somebody has, Swindled me off my feet. Mm-hmm. So Swindle. <laughs> uh-huh. Everybody a catfish at the end of the day. Everybody, everybody. Everybody. I'm definitely a catfish. <laughs> everybody. I be the sweetest girl you ever met. And then you say one hey, thing. Nobody's fucking with us after these podcasts. No. Nope. They go dope. And everybody that's why I don't want shit. nobody to listen to it, to me. I, don't, I, I ain't told none of my Johns. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kier? Uh, Sophia Johns. Hey, Johns. Hey. Hey, that's my hive name. <laughs> the Johns. The Johns. The girls that go want to be known as the Johns. You probably don't have no female Johns and anymore. Janes. What y'all want, baby? <laughs> the Johns and Janes. <laughs> hey, T over here crying. Oh, to man. Crying. Y'all so fool. Hey, T, what's hey. your hive name? What's up? I ain't got nothing. I'm just Hey, tea. I just realized I'm just that wouldn't be my Instagram name I've been giving out this whole time. That was hey. my Twitter name. At underscore I am DC Fresh. That's your shit. That's sure. my Instagram. No, I am it's just I am DC Fresh. I think it's an You don't underscore. have an underscore. No, nah, it's no underscore, it ain't baby. No underscore. No underscore in your Maybe name. Maybe I'm just... thinking about my Snapchat. Don't follow me on Snapchat. I don't need y'all to know that much. I am. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Hey, I be I too am... drunk when I Snapchat and I regret everything I ever put on Snapchat. Hey, that's why I can't be on there a lot. I have to tell myself. Did that's... we answer who was this letter from? This is from Anonymous. So, Anonymous, let's see. Okay. Are more people concerned with the marriage or the wedding? Definitely the wedding. Um, what? Yeah, how long is too long to be engaged? We did. How soon, how soon is too soon to become engaged? Too soon is two months. <laughs> I feel like no, too soon is a anything year. over, under two years. Yeah, true. I no, agree with that. I don't agree with that. It's relative. It depends on how you feel with the person. No, no. it's not relative. It's relative. No, to me, it's relative because you different with different people. You know what I'm saying? You might have a connection. Do y'all believe in love at first sight? No. no. Okay. <laughs> well, that's y'all. Okay. Real niggas. Okay. Shit. That's y'all two niggas. I'm a hopeless romantic. You love everybody at first I'm, sight. I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I feel like this is what it is, and like you can actually. I believe in love at first sight. And no. You can, you can How many times have you been in love at first sight? How many times have I been in love at first sight? Yeah. Only one with my girl, current girlfriend right now. Only one yeah. time. Fin, 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 fin. Hey, shout out to my baby. What's good? They trying to get what a... Up, Ash Cash? Hey, no comment. Trying to get a nigga cussed out up here, but I'm going to keep hey, it. Hey, ain't nobody trying to get you cussed out. Let's move to the next letter. So we ain't about to bite our tongue. 
I feel like anything, I feel like the first year is the honeymoon stage. I feel like the second year is when you really get to know somebody. So I feel like two years. Yeah. I feel I like you shouldn't marry nobody before That's two years. Long. And you definitely shouldn't get married before 30. Shout out to you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. Listen, I listen. definitely believe that. T thinks what? What's too short? Um, what's okay? With, what's yeah. the, the distance? I think uh, two weeks. Three months. Three months. Three. Yeah, three months is definitely. I've known people to get married. Ninety still married. Ninety no. days. Exactly. Ninety days. I'm gonna exactly. say I'm gonna go with ninety days. Like yeah, ninety days. You no, don't even ninety know days. Know a person hygiene habits in ninety days. No. It depends how close you got to that person within them ninety days. Like me and my baby, I ain't gonna put I you on front dream. street, baby. But like me and my baby, we got a little, you know. In 90 days, we was doing some shit. We should. Y'all was long distance. That don't count. Yeah, long distance Long is distance a don't level. count because it's a different time. Like, if you long distance, it don't. when you it see don't. somebody, it's, it's new different. every yeah, single time because exactly. you're not in the day-to-day with them. And that's why I said it's relative. Yeah, it is relative. It I is. completely agree. But I don't believe that three months is a part of that relativity. Right. So, for me, it is. I knew going in. <laughs> You ain't Aww, been married. So you gonna be you gonna marry your current girlfriend? You know, I, I didn't say that about marriage. Me, me and my baby, we cool. We not the marrying kind. We good where we at but right now. But you said earlier. Hey, <laughs> all right. So let's move to the second letter. The second letter. All right. The second letter. Um, it says. Did we answer all anonymous questions? We did. Anonymous. You had a lot of questions, so I hope we answered enough of them. All right. Go ahead. All right. So love is easy to find, but true love ellipsis. It's rare. <laughs> I prayed for my one true love a long time ago, and it didn't work out. Uh, we came from opposite sides of the track, and she's a family-oriented person, but her family didn't approve of me. We were truly in love, and when I say a piece of me died when I chose to break it off with oh, her so man. she could have a relationship with her family, it's real. Wow. Ever since my heart, ever since my heart isn't cold, but almost 15 years later, I have not felt more than 10% of that love feeling. They didn't quantify how love. I did with her. <laughs> this is an engineer. 15 years later. That has nothing to do with my engineer. question, but y'all conversation brought that memory back. My question Glad we can help women always on. say they want the truth, but when they get it, they can't handle it. I've done that for the last few relationships and I still get questioned or they continue to try to figure me out. Why, if I'm already telling you what's real, are you trying to figure me out? This is signed by... Who is that from? Servant of the Cross. Servant of Of the the Cross. cross. Yes. I'm going to tell you why she don't believe you, Servant of the Cross, because most niggas ain't Servants of the Cross and they be lying. Exactly. (laughs) So, the reason she doesn't believe you is because of... All the niggas in her past. Yeah, it's because of her her, her baggage. And um, I think that niggas lying is uh, more of a trend than niggas telling the truth. So, Ooh, unfortunately... Mm. <laughs> you felt that it was... <laughs> yes! Ooh, but, <laughs> so, I feel like, you know... You who lied... <laughs> I never forget feeling hey. like I was no good. Hey, 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 hey. Like hey. I couldn't do it for you. <laughs> like that wag bitch yeah. could. Listen. And it's all because you lied. Yo, lying ass. <laughs> you feeling that or not? Did you write? Uh, did you write a letter? No, it's Beyonce. <laughs> I know. It? I know what the song. They be is. lying for no fucking reason. <laughs> no, it is a reason. I'm gonna give you. I'm 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 gonna uh-huh. go the opposite in this direction. Go ahead. You know what I'm do saying? It is a reason. You know what I'm saying? So most women they they tell you they want to hear the truth, but they cannot handle the truth. That is true. And so that. this is my thing. It's it's it's, mm-hmm. it's only it's a small mm-hmm. percentage. It's mm-hmm. a very 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 I'm small percentage of women that can handle the truth. I right? agree with you. So so this is I my thing. So this is my thing, right? It's yes, only right. it's very small. I'm a part of that small percentage. You, so you, you think you're part of it? You hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, I gotta cut you. Wait, off. wait, no. Let let T finish, no. and then you can come. So, look, in. So, me and T holding hands right now. Feeling this. Right now, like <laughs> so she's feeling. trying to get her strength together. This is my thing, right? What's a servant? Servant of, so servant, servant of the cross. Servant, serve easy. Servant, easy. Yeah, servant of the cross. Look, 
This is the thing. You sound you sound like a good dude, so do not tell me. Or he a fuck nigga because he trying to use that name to, to go away. Seem like right. A good it could dude. be both. It could be we both. We don't know, sir. We, we all got fuck niggas. We all got fuck niggas in the dick. But my thing is like women. They, they, I feel like it's a game to them. You know what I'm saying? They they tell you they want to know the truth in 100% just so you can tell them what's going on, but they really can't handle it. No. So you no, have to be cognizant listen. of what you tell them. No. I, I'm a woman. We women, like, I know I don't want to... I can't handle all the truth. That's true. I That's cannot true. handle That's everything. Handle but exactly. But I still want to know. No, no. Exactly. No. It That's depends on what it is. It depends no. on what it is. Because if it's mm-hmm. only going to leave you... If it's only going to leave you hurt feelings... But keep it's that okay. Shit to yourself. Let me deal with my Negative. hurt feelings. No. Don't dictate it depends. my feelings for me. It depends. Me. It depends on what it is now. And it, it depends on what it is. See, you know what I'm saying? See, we getting deep right Listen, here now. It so. depends. Because it depends on what it is. Like, I want to... I say to myself, like, I want to know what's going on. But then when I, if I hear the shit, a nigga gonna be sick to their stomach. Okay, you so this is not like right. Yes. Hey, you don't. So like, I know the, what I never, right. what a nigga So was you got right. Hey, but you don't get a nigga back like that. So certain things you got to reserve for women. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't gonna benefit the relationship, you have to reserve it. Now, if it comes to like, you got another bitch pregnant, you got an STD. Hell, fuck it. You got to disclose about, shit like that. What about to but, the simple fact that I'm dating other... I mean, that's normal shit. I'm hey, talk, listen, if you're not exclusive with talk? that person, yeah, yeah. If you're not exclusive with the person, then yeah, you have to disclose I that information. I have my hand raised. Come no, on, no, kid. No, Come on, kid. I have my hand yeah, raised. Go, She's in a tizzy right I'm, now. Cause Re- this is, because this shit drives me insane. First of all, you don't owe me lies. And if we're building something, build the truth, however difficult it may be. Okay, I want to know the she truth. To her core. Cause she I done got some shit done to her. I, yeah, yes, but, because but, I done been lied to about stupid stuff. And you like, come on. I asked you the truth because I know that whether or not it hurts my feelings, I want to know that because I can live with the truth. All right, let me ask what you I this. What I can't live with is a lie, and then finding out later. Let me ask tell you this. Tell me right now. Let me ask you this. Is it a lie? If I don't say anything, I just don't disclose that information to you. Is that yes. right? I've been told omitting is a lie. Omission I don't agree. I don't agree with that. I don't agree, with I don't agree Omit- but I've been told omission is a lie. Okay, PSA. <laughs> omission is a form of lying. I don't okay? think it is. If you ask me a question and I answer that question, just because I don't provide you any additional information, don't make it a lie. That means you didn't That's ask That's because the right y'all question. ain't shit. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Listen, no, no, and no. I need the floor right now. Okay. I'm feeling Give it. Give her the flow. The light skin the shit. Light Give skin shit. Come on, T. You know <laughs> where you the light skin shit. All I'm saying is this. You have, okay, women, even though she don't, she may not be able to take that truth in that moment, give her some time to take it in and hear it and be like, you know what? He didn't do anything wrong. He just told me the truth and I respect that. A lot of girls. But what if he did something wrong? Even if he did something wrong, you can go from there. But if you lying, we building something on a lie. Let's build on reality because I'm not perfect. Women, let me tell you something. Women are the biggest dogs. And difficult as fuck. And difficult as fuck. We the biggest dogs because we do shit because we know niggas is doing shit. No, you break up with somebody. You and got that's an excuse, and that's week. an excuse right there to say you doing shit because niggas is doing shit. You doing shit because you want to do shit. Oop. You no, know what I'm saying? so this is no, my no, thing. No, no, nah, because no, no, you, no. you don't do shit because somebody else is doing it. You doing it because that's how yeah, you really truly deep down too feel. Many times, you well, do. I mean, well, come on now. It's like, but deep. if that's true to yourself, if you that's you, you won't do it because they doing it. You doing it because that's what you want to do. Like, I would never do anything. I would never do it. Got points out here. I'm trying to tell you. But listen, I was raised by guys. I was raised by my big brothers and they friends. By my father and my brother. So I have a different perspective than most women. Um, a lot, a lot of my friends would just rather not know. You know that what was it, Mario Wine? Is they rather just not know? But I want to know because I want to be able to um just go from there. Just tell me the truth. When I I cannot stand for somebody to look me in my face and lie to me because to me that's a level of disrespect. But let me tell you something, servant of the cross. You are not over your ex. Ten years later, you're not. You're not over her. That's why you have only experienced 10% of the love feeling that you have for her. So you telling these women the truth is because you probably don't even care. You really care. You probably care. That's a a twist. That's true. true. You care at a minimum. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Serving at the cross. You care at a minimum. And that's why you telling them the unfiltered truth. Yeah. But I bet, I bet you a thousand dollars, because that's all I got. <laughs> She's a thousand there. <laughs> right. I bet you a thousand dollars you wouldn't tell that old other one the truth. And let me tell you something. You gave her up. You were, you a coward. You should have fought for her. Is she married? Did he say she was married or something? He didn't say, but he Our said family. she was family oriented. Let me just drop I would have fought couple for my jewels shit. real quick. I, anyway. I agree that women do not want to hear the truth because when it goes south, they need somebody. They need somebody to blame it on, and they need. They, they just don't want to hear it. They right. want to hear it, but they don't. They, they don't. say they want to hear it, but then they don't because then they get mad and they're thinking about all this other shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't and want to whether you tell them the truth or not, just know why you're telling them the truth and if they can yeah. handle it or not. You know what I'm saying? Just like, make sure what if you're... So, okay, let me not mistake. Let me not... When you're telling the truth, make sure there's a purpose. So sometimes the truth is not warranted. Exactly. And I and I mean that truthfully because I've lied. I've lied to all my boyfriends <laughs> at some point, and it's because I want to protect them, just the same way they want to protect me by telling me lies. I've definitely lied. To but my you exes. gotta know if you protected you or you protected them. No, because if you didn't cheat it, you ain't got caught, and you want to do right, no, then no, no, keep no, it no. to yourself. I, but most of the time, when you mm-hmm. tell the truth, it's for you. It's not really for the other person. Because I want to tell the truth just so you can't come back to me later saying I didn't give you a chance to make an informed decision. Well, I, I just want to respect you, and I just want you to be truthful to me, and I'll be truthful to you at the end of the day. Definitely. Because if you lie and, and I don't but respect But sometimes, you. and you know, I know I went full circle low-key, but sometimes we tell lies because I can see your heart beating out your chest, and I don't want to see you hurt that way. Mm. And I've but seen listen that. to what I you said. Listen, listen to what you said. You don't want to see so it. So it's still about selfish. you. It's, it's definitely always selfish. about you. But, it's always about you. Whether you telling the truth or you lying, it's about you. It ain't about that's that the person. thing. It lies, truth, it's all selfish. selfish yeah. We yeah, all true. are about self preservation. Right. We're all about self preservation. And we do not want to admit that. We have to I come do. in a say in a society that pushes us to be individuals. Listen, I know I'm a selfish ass nigga. I will admit that to the motherfucking I will always admit that. I'm a selfish ass nigga. And you right, Kira, Sophia. Not everybody wants to admit how selfish they are, but that's one thing we have to admit about ourselves when it comes to relationships. You always going to go for your best interest first. Unintentionally, intentionally, or however you want to put it, still, everybody's selfish. Yeah, so serving, I feel like, you know, if you want this woman and she has not, uh, she's still available, you need to go back after her because I agree with uh, Kier that you're not over this woman. Um, and you need to figure out why you're telling people what you're telling them. Are you telling them these things to turn them off? Because you're still hung up on this chick from 10, 15 years ago. Right. But either way, my brother, you need to move the fuck on. Either you need to move the fuck on with her. <laughs> Yo, servant, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but Kiera just failed. And it is hilarious. She just bust her ass, dog. And that shit hurt. I yeah. stood over my own feet, though. Yo, that was some sitcom shit y'all just missed. But anyway, yes, yeah, servant. So go holler back at this woman and hit us back and let us know if you holler back at her or how you decide to go forward, forward with your yeah. uh, relationships in the future. And really dissect, you know, the reasons why you're telling these women or the stop. absolute truth. Is it a cruel truth? Is it to turn them off? Right. Or yes. is it just because you feel like you want to be an honest person and you want to let yeah. everything or don't, nah, you need My to, thing just, is, yeah, don't don't compare your new girlfriends to, to the one that you can't get over. And that's what a lot of people tend to do. You might be comparing the old... A relationship that that you can't get over you might be comparing her to all your new girlfriends and that's why they cannot add up they cannot True. measure up because everybody her. got so a every, bar though yeah everybody, everybody got a bar. got a bar i have an ex where how they treat me is definitely my bar and mm-hmm. when anybody doesn't hit that in that particular area you're gone i 
I'm not in as much. Exactly. You so you, but you, because I know how I want to be treated. Right. But, but I get everybody that everybody don't love the same. Though. Everybody you don't love to the know same. That too. But an ex of mine told me that. Right. Everybody don't love the same. That's true. You different with different people. You don't treat people. I mean, everybody not gonna be the same. So you gotta give the women that you with serving out the cross the benefit of the doubt. I love that they keep calling out your name. I love that name. So like, hey, this listen. is my thing. So like, you cannot do not compare your new girlfriends to to the one that you cannot get over. And that's what it sounds like you may be doing. Mm-hmm. I, I fully and completely believe that you tell them this truth because you don't care. <laughs> I mean, I really do. Because I've done that. I mean, most of the people I love, which I haven't loved very many at all, I, I definitely taper my truth. But when I don't care about you, I'll be like, nah. That's true, though. I Take like, it how you want. Nah. Do what you want with it. I'll tell the motherfucker quick. Yeah, like, you got it, a choice. The truth. I disagree. Like, I you do. can be with me or no, but this yeah. is what I'm doing and this is how I'm This doing is it. me. And But the, the, the main thing you got to remember is stay true to yourself. And I, what I want you to do is really dig deep and figure out why you are telling them why why Everything. you are in this place because you you even led with a whole ass paragraph that didn't have anything to do with your question so <laughs> it's evident that you are still in love with your ex and i want you you know go after your love man i'm all about romantic comedies i want my life to be a romantic comedy i want it to work out you know what i'm saying i love love <laughs> and pursue that love man if you love her don't let nobody tell you nothing. Fuck her family. Fuck them, okay? <laughs> it's all about you and your love. But anyway, I don't want to keep talking. Serving right. of the cross. Let us know what happens. Let us know, sir. For sure. All right. The ain't shit show with an X. Oh, a, true. <laughs> what an I is and a shit. That's at true. gmail.com. So that's ain't sh- the, the ain't shit, ain't shit, show, shit show at gmail.com. gmail.com. And that's an X where the I would be. Let us know. And if you have any other, uh, or if anyone wants to write in, if you have questions, you want to know more about us, you need advice, you just want our opinions on something that's going on, hit us up. We are willing to talk about anything, as you can see. Um, And we'll move along to the next segment. All right, we're going to move into our free smoke segment. Free smoke is where we discuss hot button topics. Um, It could be anything from political to petty, but today... Uh, we've been speaking of being politically correct, uh, how to react when things go wrong, uh, relationships and Love. getting the truth and all of that. And what I want to talk about today is breakups. Mm. And things can go certain ways when you break up. People behave different ways when you break up. For sure. You can go they your do. separate ways and never talk again. Or it could be a long, petty battle. When you break up with somebody, mm. you know. They can change. My first question in this free smoke is, are protocols different for after a breakup depending on how you actually broke up or the cause of the breakup? Yes. Let us know. So if you break up on bad terms, then fuck you. Fuck Never talking you. to you again. Changing all the passwords. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck your mama. Fuck your sister. Fuck your brother. Damn. Fuck your niece, who I used to like, but fuck oh. her too, because she's going to grow up to love your fuck nigga ass. Okay? <laughs> but if we break up and it's like, yeah, this just isn't working out, you know, but we're good friends, let's still be friends, then it's like, okay, cool, let's still be friends. <coughs> then nothing really changes except y'all ain't fucking and you can't be mad when they date. True. But I never broke up on good terms. I've really? always broken up on good terms. I've never broken up on bad terms. I've had both. I've yeah, had both. both. I've never had a, a good breakup. Like, it's always been on bad terms. You a f- That's because you ain't shit. I ain't shit, yeah. Well, how you I, think it's my fault? Because I know you. Just process of elimination. <laughs> I can't even argue with you. <laughs> but, but, yeah, I've never broken up on good terms at all. I've broken up on I've broken up on good terms and I've broken up on bad terms. One of the things that I said in the prior segment is I just want to be able to respect you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've I've never particularly broken up with anybody because I've necessarily uh, been cheated on or something mm-hmm. like that. Where it's definitely like fuck you, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I've had I have been in situations where I feel like 
how you went about certain things. I can't fuck with you like that no more. Right. But yeah. I've also been in relationships where it's just like, look, dog, I love you, you love me, but this ain't working out. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we just kind of need to go our separate ways. So I've been there too. And how I act after a breakup is solely dependent on if I respect you or not. Yeah. Mm, me too. True, 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 true. You know what I'm saying? If I don't respect you, I don't give a fuck. But if I love you, I'm going to love you to the death. I'm not. Mm-hmm. But if I, I ain't love you, you, the we the reason we broke up is because I just didn't love you in the first place. I mean, yeah, it could it could be like that. Listen, I can love you. I don't know. I think it's like my Gemini thing. Like I love you and I love you and I love you and I will try to love you. But once you flip that fucking switch, my nigga, my I don't give a, a fuck about you. I don't care what you do. People around you care more about what this person is doing than you. Like, I'm not about to be looking at your social media. I'm not about to be doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? And I know most people ain't like that. But when I say, like, I don't give a fuck, it's not to be cool. It's not to be macho. That switch has really flipped. Mm -hmm. Where I'm just like, I I really don't give a fuck. Oh, they mess with somebody else. Oh, I don't care. Like, I don't want them. Somebody else might as well. Hey, welcome to your problem. My right. Gemini ex is like this, is the same way until he met me. <laughs> and, uh, Seriously. I mean, we broke up because it just didn't work out. But when he would tell me about him breaking up with other girls, he'd be like, we broke up and I never talked to them again. And I'm like, what? Really? Because I'm still cool with all my exes. Like, I could talk to nah, them again. I have. Well, I haven't been in a whole lot of relationships. True. I've dated a whole lot, but I've never been in a whole lot of relationships. And I'm only friends with uh, one of my exes. And uh, it took us a long time. You know what I'm saying? It took us a long time to get here. So, you know, it can it can be good. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. What's, what's some of the craziest breakups y'all have had? T? <laughs> well, so, like, I was with my ex for seven years. Um, I cheated on her throughout the whole relationship. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so seven like, years, though? That's the lucky number. Seven years we were together, and I uh, probably cheated on her every year we was together. Damn. Yeah. Why like, were you with shit. her? Like, off and on. She was more like, you know, I like she was like my tiny to T.I. If I can explain it, she was down, you know Aww. what I'm saying? I feel like she was never going to go nowhere. <laughs> I was complacent. I was comfortable. I did love her. I, I love her, cared about her or whatever, so... I just feel like she was just like a down chick, so it was selfish. You want it to was keep selfish. This down chick, exactly, and it was selfish as fuck. Was you me. want a bitch that's gonna take a charge for you, like exactly. How you did to She's die. definitely that bitch, right? So She's you definitely... used her basically. No, I want to say you. You she, know she, a bitch she... that would have took a charge for you. Yeah, that but bitch would have took a charge for her. She definitely would have took a charge for me, but Whatever. but <laughs> I'm not the type of nigga that was gonna get a charge. So she was safe oh, in that. Okay. She was safe in that avenue. But my thing is like. I did not, I wasn't, I didn't believe in being in love at the time. So I just thought everybody needed a down bitch, right? Somebody to just fit for them. You know what I'm saying? So I was being selfish as fuck when I was with her. And I cheated on her. I guess any chance I had, I probably cheated on her. You cheated on her because you knew she wasn't going nowhere. Pretty much. You didn't cheat on her because you didn't want to lose her. You just knew she wasn't going nowhere. Yeah, we was very young when we got together, too. So just, you know, not to give any excuses, we was very young when we met. So. But this was your last girlfriend before your current girlfriend. Correct. You weren't that damn young. Yes, I was. So I've been so I've been with my current for, what, five years, and I was with my ex for seven years. I was you be in long-term relationships. You all learn long-term but she, nigga. But she's never not been in a relationship. Oh, so yeah. that's the fuck part about yeah, it. Yeah, I've never not been in a relationship. That's true. I haven't. My whole adult life, I've always been in a relationship. So... To get to your question, have you ever had a bad breakup? Uh, yes. So, my ex I was with for seven years. Clearly, I cheated on her every fucking, I just told y'all, every year I was with her. <laughs> so, the straw was I Face met. Face palm. Hey. Right, right. So, I met my, uh, my current girlfriend while I was with my ex. Right? Ooh. Ooh. Scandal. Scandal. Hashtag. Right. So, at first, it was just on some chill shit. You know what I'm saying? We actually went to college together, my, my current girlfriend. Uh, we went to school together. 
and she hit me up on Facebook just to, to reconnect. She didn't even, she don't live in D.C. She lived out of town. So she hit me up like, hey, let's reconnect. And we actually clicked when she came into town. And I'm like, damn, I want to be around her all the time. I just want to be, Aww. yeah, like I feel for her, like awesome, like quick. I feel for her real quick. So I just stopped giving a fuck about my ex. Who I was with. Well, it sounds like for seven years you never gave a fuck about your ex. Right. But I digress. <laughs> That's not true. That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> if you cheated on her every year for seven years. You didn't give right. a fuck. Right. That's not true. It sounds like you gave her a fruitcake for Christmas. Nah, like, that's... You didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. A fruitcake. That you give people a work of fruitcake. Fruit right. She said you hated her that much. You know how nasty a motherfucker cake is. That's not true. Hey, that's not true. Shade. That's not true. That's not true. So that's not true. I'm just telling you the fuck shit I've done. I've done a lot of good shit with my ex too. You know, I did a lot of like fuck. that fruit cake. All right, back to this fuck go shit. Ahead, break go up. ahead. Go ahead. We listen. So she uh, found out about my uh, rendezvous with the new girl, right? Can you call them A and B? Okay, so A will be. Nah, that's confusing. Okay, your ex okay. and the new girl. Okay, Let's just okay, leave okay. it ex. Okay, okay. Or ex and your current girl. So ex, that's what we're talking right. about. Okay. So my ex found out about my current girlfriend, and I went to Atlanta. So my current girlfriend was living in Atlanta. I flew out there to, to hang out with her around my birthday, right? That's disrespect. Is it? Is it? To think on, your birthday? on your birthday? Hey, I mean, it was whatever. But my my, my <laughs> it's obviously, whatever. My homie, uh, my homie went with me. My uh, my coworker went with me. She went out there with me or whatever. We had a good time. But me being a fuckboy at the time, I posted some pictures like on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's ultimate fuckboy shit. Ultimate, like you couldn't even ultimate. be low with it. Yeah, I, I was. You just threw it in her face. Yeah, I did. See, that's the shit where I'm talking about. Can I respect you or not? Yeah, like, you I was do on some, some shit like that. I but but you. let me let me rewind. So prior to me going out to Atlanta, I told her we need to break up and not be together. But the hiccup was we own a house together. So it was kind of like easier said than done. Gotcha. So I told her like like yo, we're done, we're over with, but we own a house together. So that was the hiccup. So I go to Atlanta. I post these pictures of me and the new girl. She must have seen the photos. I blocked her and everything, but of course she got her little minions and friends and shit. Right, and, and then you gonna the send a screenshot. Right, so I she get screenshots right. of motherfuckers I could care less about. Right, so she done found the motherfucking page or whatever. I'm I fly back Sunday night. I gotta work Monday morning. I'm in the bed thinking I'm tucked away. I'm good. I'm sleep. Damn. Clearly, I was not. I wake up to her beating the shit out of me in my oh, sleep, my nigga. Shit. Yes. Being you like physically, physically punching me, and my ex is small. She like, she little four eleven or whatever. She's small as oh, fuck. Shit. But she, it's like a, she's fucking me up in my sleep, and I sleep hard. So I honestly do not know how many times she was hitting me, but she fucked me up, and I woke up and I was like, I, and I sleep naked, right? Oh Damn shit! This so visual, yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, in my mind, there's nothing worse than fighting naked. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, like, you nah. just can't fully defend yourself. You're defenseless. Naked. Like, You're with not... anybody. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, that sounds It's too terrible. much shit going right. on. That sounds awful. Right, so I wake up, getting my ass beat, half sleep, <laughs> fucking daydreaming, thinking it's a dream, and she's on, <laughs> and she's on top of me, you beating me. It was a dream. And mind you, she's on top of me. She's naked as well. Why is she naked? I don't fucking know. I was she, asleep. She got me she crazy. Was gonna fuck she was going to Look, she was laying there and she said, this motherfucker. And something <laughs> just snapped. And then she jumped Because she was planning to fuck you. She probably was. I mean, she she came home a lot, even though we was not together. We nah, still was fucking. Nah, she was planning to fuck her that night. I mean, we still was fucking, oh. though, at the time. So she might have been. We still was fucking. Even though I, was, I met the new girl, we still was fucking. So she probably was coming home you to fuck You ain't shit, me. dog. Hey, I'm keeping it 1,000 right she now. She do keep it 1,000, y'all. That's All day. why she my neat. Yeah. <laughs> so, so she probably was coming home to do that, but then somebody might have sent her a picture at the time, same time frame. You know what I'm saying? Who yeah. knows? Anyway, she was fucking me on my side. I wake up. Like, I gather all I can gather at that time, and I just left and fled the I scene. think that's good of you not to hit her back. Oh, no, nah, I would never. She's small, man. And, and, I don't and, give a fuck. And, and, and. If you can throw them hands, you can get them hands thrown back in And your my job. Per- I could not do that True. at the time. You know what I'm saying? My job. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't do it. I didn't want to get fired. Shit. So, she still could have thin lined you and hit herself with some oranges and went and reported your True, ass. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So I got <laughs> look, I gather my shit up, I roll out, I go to <laughs> I go to my brother's house. My brother, shout out to my brother, he saved my life. Shout out to her brother. He, shout out, brother. Yeah, he was living in Baltimore at the time. He was uh stationed out there from Damn, from, you put yourself in even more danger. You hey, with the B more wire. Hey, man. and this nigga lived downtown. <laughs> I was too. risking with the four eleven bitch. And this nigga lived downtown, so he lived right by the Raven Stadium. So I went, stayed at his townhouse or whatever. And I didn't go back to the house. I ignored her. I blocked her for like two weeks. All of a sudden, I get a call from my sergeant at work like, yo, I don't know what's going on at your home, but your girl just called here and said she about to kill herself. I'm like, what? what? The fuck is going on? She be? I said, I broke up with her a long time ago. I left the house. She been trying to fight me. So I don't know what she got going on, but I don't want no parts of it. He was like, well, you need to contact her. So I tried to call her, call her mother and sister. Come to find out, she took like a whole bunch of muscle relaxers in the box <laughs> and she drunk a bottle of rum. Why did you just laugh at suicide? Because <laughs> Kira Sophia is fucked up. Hey, that's fuck. Hey, this is the ain't shit show. Ain't you wonder shit. how these niggas got on this show? <laughs> yeah. It is genuine. Genuine. It is genuine. <laughs> So, so all of that over a break. Oh, hey, sorry, so, sis, sorry. Hey, nobody's worth killing yourself. No, over no. Sis. nobody. All the sisters out there, and nobody. nobody worth killing yourself over. So she take, uh, she drank a bottle of rum. Shout out to the DR Dominican Republic. We got the rum from there. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? Fuck my girl. Shout out to the DR. Hey, so she. <laughs> So she drank. <laughs> so she drank the rum and took the muscle and it passed out or whatever. Our local police department, because we own a house or whatever, our local police department where we own a house that came and knocked on the door and drove her to the ER. They had to pump her stomach, all that she shit. She really tried to fucking she kill really her. She really did. She really did, man. Over y'all breaking up. She Girl. just, she missed me, man. What the fuck? Like, what's up? Ah, this nigga said they got me. And me. It was good. So, like, so she did that. Um, it was fucked up. So, I, you know, of course, me. I haven't seen it in a couple weeks. I still, I love and care, but I feel so bad. So I rushed to the hospital. I get there. She wake up and look at me like dead ass and was like, see what you did? Like, like Red she blamed this on me. Red. Like, we supposed to be together. You know what I'm saying? She pretty what? Much, yes. No. She blamed me. So that would have made me drunk. Oh, no. Listen, so I took, like, she crazy imagine still. she was she was asleep. She was passed out or whatever. She was asleep. I took pictures of her when she was sleeping. So after all you that, took pictures. Of- Hell yeah! <laughs> I took pictures of her while I was while she was sleeping. Look, I, listen. after she tried to commit suicide, I, I took pictures of it. Right. Listen, guys, I just want y'all to know that don't tune out. Yeah, I know we've been going long, but I've heard part of this story before, <laughs> and this story is part of the inspiration for the name of this show. For Go sure. ahead, finish your story. <laughs> So I took pictures, and so let me fast forward. So I left the hospital. That was it for me. I was like, I can't never see this girl again because I done ruined her whole entire life, right? I done ruined her whole life. Not once did you think about killing yourself. Negative. Right. Right. Negative. I would never, never right, take exactly. my, take my life. Saying. So I, that was the end of that. I said, I got to go. I'm, I can't do this anymore. I said, I done ruined this girl. She's fucking sick, crazy over me, so I'm rolling out. I left, and I told her mother, like, look, I'm not good for your daughter. Like, get her, like, convince her that I'm not, I ain't shit. So, I'm not good for her. So, I'll leave. Fast forward, every other week, she was sending me pictures and songs of each other. Like, yo, I miss you. We should be together. She sent me this. (laughs) Oh, my God. And I would reply with a photo of her in the hospital. Oh, my God. (laughs) So, she can have a reminder, like, look what, look, you want me, but look what, you wanting me has gotten you. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! So, <laughs> oh my god! Hey, oh yo. my <laughs> yo. god! Oh look, I feel bad for laughing every single time, but I'm not laughing at the fact that this just tried is... to kill herself. I'm laughing at the fact that my nigga here sends her a Oh picture. bitch, you love me. Look what my love did to you, dumb right? Bitch. Exactly. Oh my you got, god! Because I. And you sent her the I got to, because I cared about her that much to say, look. <laughs> oh, my God. I cared about her that much to say, look, man, you is don't deserve me. You know is is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. <laughs> Sit your ass down, too. You don't get to stand up. <laughs> Let me know. Hey, just to recap, T sent pictures of her girl ex-girlfriend laying in the bed after she tried to kill herself, my nigga. For sure. Over her. 
Mm-hmm. That's she crazy. Sucks. You are you are the old. You get what the did she say when you sent her these pictures? She be like, "You're a fuck ass nigga." You know what? It's kind of like she avoided it. Like I'm saying, she still will send me shit. She still will she send me. She did that shit for attention. She did it for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, and this was a minute ago. You know, shout out to my ex. She's in a relationship now. She's been in a relationship for a couple years. So I don't want to put her out there on the forefront and say, "Hey, she's still like this." But this was a while ago. This is back. Two- Crazy doesn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> this was back. Like roaches. This was back 2000, 2012 to 2014. She was like, it's only 2017. It's not 2037. It took a long time to get over that. Crazy is. It's crazy, dude. So she just ignored it. Hey, yo, that's wild. Right, right, right. Hey, that is crazy. So do you think your method was working? Yeah, it eventually worked. Well, no, I'm not sure if it eventually worked because I just had to block her. I ended up blocking her for a while. You know what I'm saying? So she, and then she found love with a new girl. So it's cool. Well, congratulations on finding love. Congratulations on finding love. And you know, most people have a type. So I hope your new girl ain't like T ass. Hey, you different with different people. I'm not the same person I was with her either. Oh, that's so precious. Uh, Shout out to your new bae who changed you. you. Yes, yes. Shout out to Ash Cash, man. So look, because we running long, I can't even go into the other stuff. But the good thing about free smoke is that we can always uh, revisit it. Um, let's wrap it up by giving any tips to anybody who's going through a breakup with a good person, a fuck boy, somebody that they fucked up on their own or whatever. What tips do you have for getting through a breakup? Um. Make sure you surround yourself with too much to do. Don't sit That's, with it. If you sit with it, you'll drive yourself crazy thinking about it. That's true. That's true. T, what's your tips for a breakup? Uh, my tips for a breakup. Don't is, try to kill yourself. <laughs> um, hopefully, every you guys both on the same page. It's, it's it's fucked up when one feels one way and the other one doesn't. You know, feels the opposite. So, hopefully, everybody is on the same page. I really don't have any tips because I've always been the fucked up person in the breakup. All right. Well, my tips for a breakup is, hey, when it's over, just deal with the fact that it's over. Like, it's have fun. Get with your friends. The best way to get over something is to get under something. Uh, Very and, true. <laughs> and just make sure you're having a good time. Like, don't worry about what that person thinking about. Don't ask about what. You know, don't worry about what they doing. Don't be getting with their friends trying to figure out what they doing and how they doing it. Just do you. Just have a good time because at the end of the day, you know, you thought you wasn't going to live through something. And look at you living, having a good time. Having a and good time. And now you looking at your ex is like, damn, I was really fucking with that person. Or you looking at your ex is like, I'm glad that we were able to, you know, get through that. And now we friends. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Because right. you can't be friends with your exes. And, you know, that's the tips that we would give. So that's the free smoke session. And I want to thank all of y'all for listening. Uh, Make sure you subscribe to the show. Again, we want to thank everybody who downloaded, who subscribed. We're available on iTunes. We're available on YouTube and SoundCloud right now. So let everybody know. Uh, Follow us on our social media, The Ain't Shit Show, um, on Twitter, IG. Again, YouTube and SoundCloud. Leave comments. Um, write reviews. Rate us on iTunes. We really want to get to this Apple Noteworthy page. And the only way we can get there is if you guys write reviews. So if you really fuck with us, write a review, man. Let them know how you feel about us. Also, hit us up and let us know, you know, how you feeling about the show. Write it for uh, eight shit and two cents. Do all that. We really fucking with y'all. And we glad that y'all fucking with us. Um... I like to end every episode with a quote that kind of sums up the whole show. Um, And again, we talked about being politically correct and all of those types of things. So the quote today is, being offended does not always mean you're right. It could also mean you can't tolerate an opinion that's different than yours. Until next week, y'all, peace out.